this way. Hey, hey what up, y'all hey, doing, hey, ladies hey, and gentlemen? Hey, hey. Oh yeah, we are on it, huh? <laughs> the number one, very one, consistent. One, oh, one oh three. We here. Yeah, yeah, we we, we here. We holding Real. it down, man. Appreciate everyone joining in and, uh, and oh yeah, for watching sure. Watching the pods, man. We Every time. Y'all. We appreciate y'all. These are these are fun, man. Yeah, no, they have been extremely love. fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just love sitting here kicking this. You know what I'm saying, and just mm-hmm. um, kind of giving y'all our opinions and thoughts on just certain things that don't yeah. really matter, but <laughs> at all, we just out here to just put well, some how of we it feel out there. Some of it, you well, know, from the, the messages we received from Discord and stuff, like, hey man, yeah, yeah, yeah no, I sure. needed to see some of this. This was definitely dope. Fair and, enough. You know, we <clears throat> we do this because you know at the end of the day. We know that a lot of y'all go through some of the same stuff we go through. Yeah. And I think people get it so misconstrued when they think, oh, they're YouTubers, they got this, they got this, they don't really be going through this, when in <laughs> actuality, we probably go through some of the same things or even more because of what we do and, you know, the the content that we bring. So we just try to keep that uh that you know, that that level of relatability with yeah, no, for so, sure. And YouTubers are humans too. Yeah, yeah. We we go through. Yes, we are. We go through a lot, <laughs> man. So you know, but how's everybody uh, uh week been so far? Yeah, man. It's been it's been pretty cool, man. Um, been real busy. Kids are you know, sporting <laughs> sporting up the place. You yeah, know. been busy too. We're in the football season now. So. Ah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Football season. They actually Isaiah. have a scrimmage today. Oh, okay, so, okay. Uh, yeah. Isaiah's. Mm-hmm. Him uh, and Josiah. Uh, oh, Josiah's is before his, and then uh, okay, okay. Mariah has to do the pep rally. All right, well, oh, shout out to Isaiah nice. and Josiah, man. Yeah. I know y'all gonna kill it. I'm definitely Absolutely. catching the game this year because I didn't get catch one last year. I'm definitely gonna pull up to a game. Oh, oh yeah, I need that schedule so uh, I can see Isaiah <laughs> kill it, man. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. And Josiah too. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. Do the man out there uh, <laughs> enjoying himself, man. Uh, and Mariah's chilling. She actually loves it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. So, okay. Okay. Um, so yeah, we we gonna be out there all day. So pray for me if you can. Just <laughs> send your thoughts dark. and your prayers. <laughs> Saturday yeah. mornings are gonna be. Ooh. Was say she a cheerleader too? Yeah, Kes Kes love that. Yeah, oh, yeah. Kes was a cheerleader from like mm-hmm. elementary all the way through high school. Oh, word. me too. Oh, mm-hmm. What? I didn't know you cheerleading, Nisha. Yeah, cheerleader. I, didn't, I, didn't, I know I, you did track. But I, I thought she was you. gang banging the whole time. <laughs> what what up, You <laughs> know I did. Give me a C. C. Give me your R. <laughs> Give me an IP. IP. And what on the game. On the game. Nigga, you better throw it up right now before we get sick. To- that's, that's not. You know what? Y'all gotta chill. That's not it. <laughs> Y'all not gotta it. chill. I have no, no one affili- affiliates my yeah, no stuff, no jokes. gangs at all. <laughs> <laughs> of course, of course, of course. <laughs> just, 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 just. Until we go to a family reunion or something. Then, oh, what's all that man. red you gotta. What would you say in that pod? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nothing. I don't know what you're talking Tell about. Tell Steve to stop tripping with the glasses and shoes. <laughs> Still have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> But nah, uh, and, uh, isn't so this is for America. <laughs> <laughs> also, uh, speaking of America, well, what are you about to get into? I was about to say, did y'all watch the Democratic? Uh, I saw clips of it, I didn't get a chance to watch it live. I've just seen pieces too. I was seeing clips as well. They mm-hmm. are, they, 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 they came with it. Yeah, so nah. they, they really needed to have a big impact like they did because, mm-hmm. you know, they was kind of quiet. Not, not that they were quiet, but we just needed something impactful to, to kind of. Overshadow the the things that Trump have been saying and yeah. doing. Mm-hmm. Um, been saying a, saying a lot of a lot of stuff. Yeah, right. and <laughs> it's just not to get political because we're definitely not into like the whole political thing. At least I'm not. But yeah. just from looking at things from a bird's eye view, you know, when you see certain people and candidates speak on things, if I'm always just talking about I look better than this person or this person is ugly or this person, it's like, what does that have to do with the things that need to be done in this country? You know what I'm saying? Like, we got to start looking at things from a different perspective and uh, just start realizing who's trying to actually b- help everybody, not just yep. one particular party. Mm-hmm. Um, so whoever you vote for, man, I mean, that's the just beauty of living re- in America. Do your research. Don't yeah, let do your Instagram research. be the deciding factor of who you vote for. Do your research. For and sure. not yeah. just 
just for a national, local too. That's where it really matters. States, state, local, state, yeah, definitely local. Matters. That's what it matters, City, especially councils. for those who stay in Texas. You know, so yeah. where it's things that we need to, you know, look into. So that's where we kind of get lost, because you know, some, most people, the general consensus, most people just pay attention to the, the presidential election, and then after that, they put it out their mind. Yeah. But it's one of those things where you need to also pay attention to your local, and, yeah, yeah. you know, things that are going on. Close to you, because those are the things that matter yeah. the most that you see um, more immediately than some of the national. Things. Yeah, no, those I've, are I've, I've, things. I've definitely fallen victim to that. Um, of course, we all have. So I'm trying to At actually some point. trying to yeah, I'm trying to actually get more into like seeing who's who. It's mm -hmm. just more with the city stuff. Growing up is like you would just see so many people, you didn't know who was actually who. It just felt like a lot of people was just running, mm -hmm. you know. So that's where you go and try to research that person's background. Um, what are they running for and what what what, what, try, they what type for, of changes yeah. are they trying to bring mm -hmm. to the city? So that's something that I'm doing more, of course, especially like with kids and stuff like that. You yeah. want to know what type of school district, mm -hmm. you know, what are they doing for the schools and it education? Goes, it goes all the way down to Little League, like um, T-ball. So like I went to this general, like this public meeting for um, Majors T-ball because he's doing a fall ball. Okay. They have hey, pretty much major. like, you know, members that you have to vote for, like concessions, all that stuff mm. for their, uh, for their, the league that he plays for. And oh, so wow. that was interesting. It was like, they're they like all in favor of da da da. Like like you have to vote like as a as a whole general meeting group. Like you all have to vote and like mm. write out write out who you want as a nominee. Like because they had like two nominees or something that would go against each other. They'd say their their piece and then you vote. I was like, this is interesting. Yeah, no, but then it tough. made me think about like my local people like dang i gotta really yeah. get in, get more involved <laughs> so like just this. like you can do that and you can go out and vote for like let's say coaches or whatever mm -hmm. it is you can vote for mm -hmm. for his league they have that for our cities mm -hmm. our counties like we actually have to look into doing that and that's what we fall short of we don't go out and actually vote for the people that matter yeah, yeah. we go out and that's vote for presidents like they can make a difference i mean they can don't get yeah, it wrong, do. but yeah. I mean, as far as our city, our state, our governor, an immediate, immediate difference. Mm -hmm. We need to vote for it. Like, we need to get that man out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no. Him man. and his four wheels. <laughs> four wheels. Oh, took... <laughs> two big wheels, one two small wheels. <laughs> staggered. Wheels. Yeah, it's a staggered. The setup. staggered. Setup. He got the. He got all the. Stack. The. He got the track pack on the on the wheels. <laughs> But speaking of, uh, you know, politics, even though we're dabbling into it, I know we was talking about this uh, a couple of days ago of does it matter if like say okay, you're right. you're you're voting for a particular party, whatever it is, whatever you vote for, does that change if you're trying to talk to someone or date someone, does that change your perspective? Does that change the dynamic of your relationship if y'all don't have the same political views? I think That's it a, can depends on the degree mm -hmm. that you guys are into it. So mm -hmm. if you're dating somebody, yeah. does their political views shape how you may feel about them mm -hmm. if you want to continue talking to them or not? Mm -hmm. That's an interesting one. Um, we did. Yeah, we, we, we briefed over that. Briefed on it. And I mean, for me personally, it does play a part. part in it should. Because, you know, this is something that obviously if we try to. <clears throat> really get to know each other. I ain't talking about just someone you smashing. You don't give a fuck about their political views. All right, cool. See you when I see you. If I don't, I don't. Yeah. But if you like like this person, you you know, maybe want her to meet the fam type stuff. You thinking about, oh, maybe there's a potential future here and y'all have that conversation and there's that that disconnect. Yeah. You know, for me, it it is I wouldn't say it's a deal breaker, but I would have to really get an understanding from their point of view for right. me for to sure. even be like all right we can we can agree to disagree because at the end of the day that is something that involves you know me and this person on a you know presidential level on a state level mm -hmm. on whatever the case may be so if there's something that i don't agree with that this person is you know championing for and you may not necessarily agree with it but you agree with some of their other policies or or you know politicking is one of those things where it's like mm, but you still agree with someone saying a certain thing or viewing people a certain way right yeah so it's like how do i separate the two but you say you don't feel that way like it, it, it that's one of those it's, it's, it's not a clear dry answer because i know there's 
Uh, some people, and I've seen this question asked on social media, some people are like, oh, no, nah, it ain't going to work if you vote for this person. And that's <laughs> that's their personal that's opinion. Choice. But I, I do feel like there's <clears throat> levels to it, depending on how much you like them. Yeah. It's it's clear levels to it. It's It really depends on what it is that you are disagreeing on. Yeah. That's really what matters. Because, like, let's say you are against abortion and she wants abortion. And then mm-hmm. she goes and does that. And now you're like, oh, yeah. Yeah. that messes you up, man. Yeah. So yep. like that's yeah. that's you know there's it depends on what it is that y'all are pro, mm-hmm. uh, so like or how extreme it is that what what the extreme is yeah. that's really yeah. what matters. And see that's what I was talking about as well because it's like in my eyes I feel like as far as little things or things that you may think makes makes a difference in your own opinion I'm not worried about that but it's about morals so mm-hmm. like let's just say for example what you just mentioned about abortion that's really important yeah because that controls your relationship bringing mm-hmm. a child into the world something mm-hmm. like that mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. for instance i also was talking to warren about our sorry dub about uh <laughs> come, about come the <laughs> about the police and what trump mentioned about how he was trying to give them all immunity and not arrest them for killing human beings like that right there is a crime and the fact that people are okay with that is kind of that brings back morals like you're okay with people getting killed and not having a proper what discipline like we get or going going to jail get whatever it is that they do go Mm -hmm. to death row whatever it is they choose to do for that person i feel like everyone has to have a day in court if yeah. something like that happens. It's, Especially it's, when we're life humans. is lost. Yeah. When yeah. life is lost, even if it's accidental <clears throat> or whatever the case may be. It needs to be, mm-hmm. you know, looked at over and just make sure things, the proper precautions were taken and what forth. I mean, it just... should be equivalent justice. It should be. Yeah, no, factual. <clears throat> so that's, that's, a, that's a fair point, you know. And y'all yeah, can, no, I get that. Y'all can ask, you know, have that discussion in the comments as well. Is that a deal breaker? Because for some people... It is. It's yeah. up there with religion. And religion for me, that's oh, yeah, a deal was, breaker. Yeah. <laughs> like if, Same. You know what I'm saying? I'm not here to judge anybody what you believe in or don't believe in. Because mm-hmm. I had somebody on my birthday, you know, I posted on YouTube. I was like, yeah, I want to, you know, give glory to God, God for letting me allow to be here for 33 years of life. That's a blessing. We know people that didn't make it this far. Mm-hmm. So, and when I said that, I saw a comment. Someone said, Hey, you know what I'm saying? No disrespect, but God no, ain't disres- real. Or what, I already knew what the, the disrespect would come. He's like, you God. gotta say no disrespect. It's Before disrespect follow. Yeah, yeah, of course. Like, so when he said that, you know, I didn't even, you know, go back and forth with it. I was just like, hey, man, that's your opinion. You have a blessed day. Because at the end of the day, that's what I choose to believe But in. you don't even tell nobody that, though. Like, if, if that's your belief on your day that you're celebrating, you know, mm-hmm. and you, you felt saying like saying you know thank god for yeah allowing you to see today you don't go and intervene on somebody else's post well he really ain't comment. real so you really just yeah you know because yeah. you just hit i'm like all right cool sounds good hey thank, <laughs> proceed thank god thank you you know what i'm saying but for me you know, thank god for you commenting yeah appreciate thank you. <laughs> <laughs> to appreciate re- your comment to reaffirm a why you know what i'm saying i believe what i believe in and you know for me, that's a that's an important part in a relationship too, because you know I, mm-hmm. I can't just be dating someone that's an atheist, yeah. and not to say that dating someone that believes in God that ends out well too, because a lot of people yeah. say they do, and then they end up you know what I'm saying moving left, <laughs> <laughs> moving uh, unholy like you know what I'm saying. And we all fall short of the grace, but at the same time, you know that's just a baseline, like yeah. right then and there. Base is God, and then. You have only fans. All right, that's baseline. All right, nope. <laughs> you you gotta say that now. You gotta like, say that uh, now. <laughs> the scripture of the day in they in a story, and then they say, and after that, oh, follow my link. Yeah, on, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just want to thank God for my only fans. Yeah. <laughs> but those are the baselines in twenty twenty four. People thank God for a lot of wild stuff. Oh, you ever thought about that? Yeah. That's because people use it uh, how they want to <clears> use it. <throat> yeah. yeah. Everybody uh, pr- don't judge. moves the word how they want like to when you When you word. get away with stealing something, ooh, thank God. It's like kind of wild, right? <laughs> Damn, bro, you just stole something, but you yeah. praising the man upstairs for you stealing something. I don't think it was him that did that. <laughs> I don't think it worked like that. So you broke one of the commandments, my boy. I don't think it was him. But, you know, no judgment. Do your thing. But I don't, I don't, I don't think, you know, he was like, hey. I think you should do that. Good job, that. boy. Good. That's, that's a <laughs> one way <laughs> ticket up here, my boy. You doing great. Yeah, that, it, it'd be a lot of that going on though. People really get there. People oh, really you find their way. Stole? 
You remember when you stole that? You praised me. I thought you was cool. You, like, you, you, ain't, you, ain't, you, ain't, you ain't called the cops. Nah. Nobody was home. I thought I thought I heard a, a creak and it was actually nobody. And I kind of did a little hand up in the You know hand. where you're going, right? <laughs> no, 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 no. Get a no, do no. over, man. Let me get a do over. Nah, you, know you, had, you had a chance. You had a chance, my child. Hey, man, look. That's day, crazy. <laughs> don't don't bash nobody else what they believe in. Oh, you for know, sure. Everybody got their own beliefs. What you mm-hmm. believe. it is. Don't come on nobody else's post talking about some. <laughs> hey, you know that? Hey, Merry Christmas. Hey, you know Christmas really was you a setup to a, <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Twenty fifth really ain't his birthday. It's, yeah, you know the <laughs> demons on, came out. And blah, 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 blah. Hey man, all right, bro, shut up. Do, do your thing, <laughs> but uh, um, <clears throat> we got to talk about. Um, I don't know if y'all heard about the the guy that was wrongly convicted. He uh, spent 48 years in jail. Oh, yeah. He ended up getting <clears throat> out, and then they like paid him now? $7 million to him. So, <clears throat> black guy. He was a little short. Man. Black guy. Uh, he's 71, year, 71, 71 now when they released him, <clears throat> who spent nearly five decades in prison That's for a murder wild. he did not commit and received $7.15 million, uh in a settlement from the U.S. city that convicted him. I think it was in... Uh, Oklahoma, and it was just one of those things where it's like, Man, hell no, you spend majority of your life you institutionalized to the core, and then there's like, oops, our bad, we made a mistake. Here's seven million for your troubles. You have a good day. Nah. Like <clears throat> how it like that ain't gonna work. And it's just one of those things where it's like, Mm-mm. and you know, it's how do like, you even get get back for that though? I, yeah, it's like I don't, I don't know. Because you can't get life back, you can't get time back, and now you're <clears throat> kind of in all your youth was in prison. In, yeah. So even if you got seven million, you can't do what you would have done in your like, younger hey, days. Y'all, y'all give me the seven million. Can, can I can I redo it? Can uh, I can I redo it? So uh, basically, <clears throat> um, that's I don't know what's it. That. Sheesh. Uh, let me see. Cause time, that's ridiculous. Family members that you probably done lost. Yeah. And that you didn't get to spend time with or see. And then they just go and say, "Oh, seven million. Here you go." Yeah, here you oh, go. Oh, my bro. bad, seven million. Yeah, that's literally a my. They probably wrote my bad on the check. My bad, our bad. We, you know, we, we ain't know. But apparently, he was framed. Like they, they framed the evidence or evidence lack thereof on him for doing a crime oh, that he didn't so this commit. The, this the movie Life. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, well, and they then, actually. Yeah, uh, and it was just one of those things where it's like. So that's it. It's just all right. You get seven million. We messed up, and you have a, a great rest of your life. Yeah, no. Nah. At the age of seventy one, it's not even like you gave him a million per year. That's the bare minimum. That's not even equating to forty years, fifty plus years of your life being gone. Yeah. Just a bare minimum, a million per year. You couldn't even do that. And I think it happened in the state of uh, state of Oklahoma. Yeah, no. Nah. It's up. It's gonna be um, gonna what's that movie? At seventy one. Yeah. Just go ahead and put me yeah. back in. Yeah, <laughs> it's you. <laughs> Just go ahead. You're definitely crashing out, bro. You go, you're gonna crash out. Say fuck it. Yeah, what's Justice that movie system, with y'all um, taking me out at seventy one? With we, Jamie Foxx, we going home today. Law abiding citizen. <laughs> no, <laughs> really, real. bro. Law abiding citizen. We go see the cops because it was some cops that you said framed them, right? So he mm-hmm. planned that for so it's, long. It's though. Some, uh, that was different. I'm gonna go ch- see what the cops got going on. If they still alive? <laughs> I mean, it's up. But well, what if they change their lives? Oh, that it's cool, bro. They, <laughs> they wasted mine. I'm glad you did. <laughs> so had, I'm gonna waste theirs. They had a, you know, they serving soup to the homeless. That's cool. That's you a, see them it. like, hey, the homeless people gonna you see. You remember me? I love that for you. <laughs> I'm <laughs> happy for you. In the kids, whatever it is, goodbye. In front of the homeless, absolutely. Like, not in front of the homeless. I don't oh, have to wait. do it like that. In front of the homeless. Before oh, you get he's there, in front. I don't care. Oh, okay. I'm going out that day. Oh, okay. <laughs> we, so we're going know. home today. <laughs> so you, so you know, we're both so. going home. I'm sending this money to whoever yeah. else I got family wise. Oh, yeah, <laughs> we going home today. Oh, okay, I already wasted my oh, life. Okay. Send oh. me back in or finish me right now. Damn. <laughs> I'm institutionalized. I'm used to this. Yeah, yeah. this I'm is my home. Surviving, bro. You don't know. Forty eight years in there. That's my home. Young, bro. He was in Damn. his twenties. So yeah, that's insane. Spent all of his time, his life. I mean, you just used to waking up at all kinds of times, time, eating and, certain type of food. Like he definitely don't know what social years? media is at all. What the yeah, fuck is social media is? 
Come on, bro. Yeah, he gonna get on this Google. world. Looks, Internet, social yeah, media, the world looks completely different. Because that they might that might mentally mess him up too. Because he's been in jail for so long, right. he comes out to a world that's so advanced and so much more technology. And I mean, I know he probably saw stuff in pieces in jail in prison. I mean, yeah, you're only course, seeing bits and pieces. They got tablets, of course, now. But yeah, they got know, everything in prison. It went now. from box TVs still. to flat screens now, and yeah. yeah, his evolution was seen all behind bars. And and you're not still not catching up because the people I've known that came out recently they're still trying to catch up right now. So, yeah. and they are in you know eight to ten years. You're talking yeah. forty eight years. That's, That's whew. let me see. That's What's the longest y'all think y'all can go to jail for? Shit, zero. Five minutes. And that's about it. So, uh, I like zero intake. I can't talk about. It. <laughs> <laughs> I prefer zero. <laughs> That was an unfortunate situation. For God went over there. Yeah, that was unfortunate. That was that was that was definitely an unfortunate situation. over there. But apparently they. Um, so apparently he was put on death row initially in 1975, but then they put him. In, they changed it to life in prison. In the 70s. 1975, bro. Yeah. Yep. They got the. It's like, how do you find out he's innocent now? Forty eight years later, terrible. Because you know they they do uh like they do cases where um they'll look <clears> into <throat> some stuff mm-hmm. or whatever cases. people will look into certain cases and like wait a minute because you know obviously the way they viewed evidence back then is different to how it is now. Mm-hmm. So it's one of those things where it's like okay we'll we'll t- pick up certain cases that we feel like there there's some validity to them trying to you know appeal or or they should be there and then they actually see hey this is not right the evidence doesn't line up with the statements or mm-hmm. whatever and you know it was a different time back then like shit it was easy for someone to accuse you of some, of some oh, yeah, yeah, you yeah. black and i'm sure he stood on the same <laughs> he uh, principles he's like i didn't do anything yeah. probably for 48 he years didn't i didn't, didn't take anything. no plea deal or nothing you know hey you just say you didn't you know, know i told you i didn't do it but it's just one of those things where it's like yeah, he stood on business. You took somebody's life away. He told the yeah, truth. Bro. That's <laughs> it. That's up. That's up. That's cool. Seven million. That's not even. That's not not even near. Then that's they, not then okay. They gonna tax nah. that seven million. Oh yeah, because they gonna tax it every year. Yeah, nah. Oh yeah, we gave it to you because we messed up, but we gonna need some of that back. So you probably might get six mil. That's some stuff that the president needs to tap in on. Like mm-hmm. they need to get involved. Like. This dude don't need to pay for nothing ever for the yeah. rest of his life. Hell. I mean, that should, that should be a thing. Like, if you get wrongly, like, convicted and you spent time in jail, you need there needs to be some major compensation because, I mean, the justice system is not 100% correct. Yeah. We see that. We know that. So, there's a lot of corruption that go on that, you know, people don't talk about. But you start to see it. You know, people mm-hmm. have certain connections. They get paid off judges. You know, even some of the jury probably get some type of extra incentive mm-hmm. or whatever. But at the end of the day, somebody life was behind bars yeah. for someone correct incorrectly identifying something. And mm-hmm. the killer probably just out there. Yeah. Damn, I'm the one that did that. Shit. Got it with me though, and then go back to their bullshit and, and ways. Then they go back to thank God. Yeah. <laughs> thank God, bro. Thank God it wasn't me for fifty years. And then he this got nigga, away. That's that's <laughs> crazy. That's a, yep. So it was a doctor. No, nah. no, it was. Uh, it wasn't a doctor. It was just some some guy. He was at the wrong place at the wrong time. I think it was like a, a robbery at a convenience store, and I think um, wow, that's and someone ended up dying in the result of it. But they identified him and somebody yeah. else as the culprits when that wasn't the case. So you know how that go. Wrong yeah. place, wrong time, and in the seventies, it's not yeah. like it, 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 it wasn't all peace and love like they make it seem. He already got a be. target on his back because he's African American. Yeah, mm-hmm. nah, seventies, all that. You did it, nigga. Mm-hmm, the <laughs> pretty much boys on drugs, all types of drugs, opioids, and all this other stuff. It don't take much. You are black you're in the wrong place the at the wrong was time. I took my hat off to the people that was like, you know, always going against the uh, rules mm-hmm. back in the day. Because mm-hmm. boy, they was quick. Mm-hmm. To line you up, yeah. Like if you was black, it was already you already had a target on your back just based off your skin color. Which mm-hmm. That's I still insane. can't formulate my mind around that. But just all in all, like boys were still out here just doing reckless stuff, and I'm like, man, hey, hey, I got a funny, funny question. Mm-hmm. I got a funny question. What's up? 
what do you how do y'all think slavery would be right now to this day? Like if they wanted to bring slavery back today with how strong our African American people are, do you think that they'll be able to do it? So you're gonna have your childish slaves? <laughs> yeah, you have you're gonna have mm-hmm. your um Cause niggas don't take shit. Seriously. I'm allergic to cotton slaves. <laughs> your Gen Z slaves. Mm-hmm. Um you're going to have the ones that want to identify as... A slave master. I identify as a white man. <laughs> right? Like, this, this shit ain't... It's not going to work. Yeah, it's, it's not going to work. Not in this generation. No. Uh, That's why I laugh because, like... Everybody identified as white people now. It, yeah, I'm it white. funny as hell. What do you mean? What do you mean? <laughs> like, it wouldn't be funny what are you? slavery my is name not Steve. funny, but... It's, no, it's my name funny. is Michael. It's just, His name like, is Warren. Think about the people... We're good. We're good, guys. We're good. we're great. I'm good. I'm great. I drive a Mercedes. <laughs> oh, now he's flexing. Get him. <laughs> no, 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 no. You got tattoos. I drive a Buick that old gra- white grandma. What? Drive. <laughs> tattoos. You out of there, bro. No, I'm not. Yes, white you. people got tattoos? Yeah, I know, but you still. Nah. They not like. Identify. They not like hood hood. <laughs> You don't got no H Town tattoo on the arm. Do you? Mm-hmm. No, no. Nah, if yeah, you would have had nah. it on your knuckles. If you would have had one yeah, of them, yeah. like, if you would have had one of them, like, H yeah, Town ones. Yeah, nah, nah, nah. If you had H Town one, you were done. No, it's, yeah. it's something about the knuckles on the, the neck. neck. Like, yeah, yeah, nah, 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 nah. Oh, neck, you a criminal. Nah, <laughs> nah maybe. Even I, if you're not. I would probably have to take out the nose ring. In the face, you're a criminal. I'd probably have to take out the nose ring. Oh, yeah, that's got to go. Shave the beard. Yeah, because it's giving. Beard got to go. Damn, that does give aggressiveness. Yeah. Damn, I gotta straighten up my my goatee. I have to be. I'm a little gruffy right now. Hey, 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 stop resisting. <laughs> stop resisting. Stop resisting. Yeah, so stop resisting, bro. <laughs> Get rid of those Jordans. No, yeah. they were. Nah, it's too much. But you know, it's I gotta deal with Nike though. See, see, it's it like helps, a nigga. <laughs> Put them in helps. the fields. Yeah. Put them in the fields. <laughs> what? That's cold. The shaded fields. He may be a house one. We may. No, he's nah, a little too dark. Nah, Wait, nah, nah. Sorry, apologies. He's gonna be in the, the, the <laughs> under the tree in the field. He, he's, he's a house shaded. one. My bad. I'm in the crib. <laughs> We're in the house. We're in the, we in the crib. These are all serving. jokes, guys. It's not serious. We, we, we would serious. never play about slavery. Slavery is something else. Really, no. really. Well, they, they make movies about it. They do. Yeah, they do. And they some of them be a joke. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> for Django, really? Django. Django, Django uh, it was it was funny. Now nah, Django was right? funny as hell. Who was that on that Who's day? That on that day, <laughs> hated Samuel Jackson. Boy, <laughs> who did? <laughs> Leonardo got away with that N word. Yeah, nah, he, he did, did, bro. Boy. He definitely he he relished in it. <clears throat> he yeah. said that shit too good too. Man, nah, we got to But he didn't. Didn't get the ER on it though. It's funny. Did they didn't the receive no award for that. I don't think because I remember that scene where remember he was slamming his hand on the table and he, he actually cut his hand, but he kept glass. rolling. Yeah, nah, he only got an award for the revenue. He got to get, he had to get eaten by a bear. That's all the time he ended up getting the award. Hey, man, but, bro, man. that's nah, intense. Nah, he he nah he killed that. His, he felt so bad saying the word. Yeah. to his interview after is hilarious. But he committed to the role. He's like, I have to play the role. You know, <laughs> he, he he committed to the role. Stone Cold said it too. When. The longest yard, yeah. Long, longest yard. Right. Ah, he did. That. Yeah. I forgot. I blocked it out of my memory. You think I'm gonna I, be scared of a poor? Because uh, he's stone cold. Anything a poor eyed nigger say? Yeah, I, I blocked it out of my memory because I remember. Does that the N word offend you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I forgot. Cold. Stone Cold nigger. wasn't a good guy. <laughs> hey, oh. he was acting. I know he was no, acting. He was a terrible that's guy. guy that was. You know? that's, was, that's all of us. Nah, he, he was a little too well, though, man. <laughs> like, Damn, Stone. Hey, go hey, on, hey, now. Calm down, calm down, now. You sound like Hulk Hogan, over here. right? <laughs> Throw the beer, nigga. Oh, hey, bro, whoa, you ain't whoa. you ain't on whoa. scene no more, man. The movie <laughs> over. Oh, my bad, my bad. But he did he did hit that mug though. I'm not even gonna hold you. Yeah, nah, he, I forgot about it. I I blocked it out mentally because I didn't. Want yeah, it's Stone Cold. Like yeah. I block out things like that from. Stone I forgot to you said. I've it. always wondered how white people felt about like is it a like. I want to say the word. Does it feel like good? A, a rush <laughs> to say it. Like, oh, I said like, it. Want to say it? And the then word say it. enhancers, as SpongeBob would say. Word enhancers, no, the, enhancers. Mm. It's a word pack up. <laughs> it's a word that will get you packed up, depending on who you're around. It depends on who you're around, because not everybody. Because I'm definitely not packing you up for it. Yeah. Me either. You think they get in the I, car I though? They go crazy in the car right. though. Is that what? When they at home or in the crib? Oh, when they listening to music in the crib? Yeah, of course. We've been seeing them video, them visuals of them concerts. Oh yeah, I'll be saying them they not moving. They not yeah, yeah. Especially they, at a Trinidad James concert. 
Yeah, or any, just any concert. <laughs> nigga, 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 don't believe me. I wasn't even thinking about that. That oh. was, I was like, why are you saying Trinidad? I mean, those are the, exactly. those you are said the nigga like six, 17 does. times, bro. I'm like, <laughs> those are the damn. people that buy the tickets. I feel so way like, so. am I? So it makes Should sense. I be they saying, gonna say this? It. No. <laughs> bleep, 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 bleep. Don't believe me. Just watch. No, you gonna say it, man? Porky. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, porky. It, it not porky. I'm not saying it should happen. I'm trying to kind of stop saying it. Say just, where a nigga, I've been working on it too, because it just flow out sometimes. I don't really say it. It just much. depends on. It's not like uh, if I'm playing the game, I'm a, it just flow out, bro. That's what irritates yeah, me. That's can, some bullshit. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Damn, nigga, damn. Yeah. Oh, that's my, hey, that's my nigga, bro. He, yeah, you know, yeah, on some, some on something like that, but I not guess, a, just like a, just a whole conversation and saying it. Just yeah, because. I know somebody who uses it as a filler. Yeah, nah, I don't <laughs> use it as a filler. Okay. It's like every other word. That's too much. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, damn. You don't even go with every word. Yeah. For him, <laughs> like, it does. You can't. Oh you make God. it work. No. A nigga's going to need <laughs> <laughs> It's a way to make Get it off work. that nag, Nick. Yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> but nag. speaking of words now, I guess uh, TikTok is spurred oh, on a new word for demure. people. Demure. Yeah, demure. That's how you. I mean, that's how you pronounce it. Demure. What's that? Uh, it's a word that people. <laughs> Nigga said it's a word. It's li- I'm being dead ass. It's a word. Well, we know that it's now a word. People are starting to use because I think it. Is someone on TikTok? He don't got the definition, bro. I'm gonna, yeah, someone on I pulled it up, it up, but right someone now. on the tick, TikTok made it popular. Like they said something on the TikTok, on the TikTok, and they said something, and I guess it. You kinda, sound like an uncle. I mean, <laughs> shit. I'm, like, hey, I'm not an uncle, but still, I'm, I'm up for sure. Let me see how they say it. <laughs> they just, you know, demure, demure, demure. demure. Demure, but I've what been it seeing it. Reserved, modest, affected, affectedly, uh, affectedly modest, reserved, or serious. In uh, okay, so use typically use uh, of a woman, a demure young lady. She was wearing a demure gray suit. So, so now, modest. So now, someone said it in a TikTok. It's an adverb, They didn't know adjective. what it meant. I mean, adjective. And then it just blew up. So now everyone is demuring up, demuring up the uh, place. Yeah, like and cap. Yeah, the okay, sense. Gotcha. But it's funny because it's like TikTok is the only reason why y'all knew about this word. TikTok mm. is out here giving y'all new words. To I didn't use. know the word either. Nor did I, I ever <clears throat> plan on using it I mean, even right. now. So. Still don't. But yeah, no, that is that's a thing now. That's all I see. Like people be putting on the the you know when people get bottles and stuff like that. Yeah. Demure. Yeah. Like, Such a demure bottle. It just shows you how we follow. <laughs> yeah. So much. It don't take much. It if, don't take if much. If somebody bro. else say something cool or somebody discovers something cool, mm-hmm. if you have an interest in it, cool. Like, even if you do post something about it, but it's the tens of thousands of other people that just continue to, oh, Demure. And it's like, sheep. Right, bro, we kinda, <laughs> I get it, bro. <laughs> it's just know. funny that TikTok is out here cre- uh, uh, creating, not creating, but teaching, teaching, yeah. teaching the world. Teaching the youth. Of words that have probably been in the dictionary. It's, aren't they? Well, at least they're learning, banned? right? Are, they, and that's are they still getting banned? Or are they, education is good. I don't even know. We they, haven't they been supposed to get banned for like two years? Yeah, and they they still them boys TikTok going strong. Away. Yeah, they, they said we ain't fine. So yeah. if we don't stay up, then I might as well start posting back. I mean, I thought they were going to get cap packed up, so At I didn't want to put no time into it. But yeah, I don't know. Stick they, around. Maybe they reach some type of deal. Well, I, I believe it's from China. So okay, we sell it to you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that wasn't right. Oh just, my god, that, that, that wasn't not. politically correct. So um, <laughs> that wasn't well, at all. Nisha had a good topic and mm-hmm. subject. Um, I want you to bring it up. She don't remember. Or I definitely remember. Okay. <laughs> so that way we can kind of because the sentence men here. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a topic I know I wanted to talk to her about, but at the same mm-hmm. time. I thought it would be dope since we are guys. We can kind of give the guys perspective. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You know, you have a married man, a single, two married men, and one single guy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So my question to y'all is. And they didn't tell me about the shades. So. Oh, okay. Oh, oh. That's, that's cool. so, my bad. Get these eyes. So, anyways, <laughs> my question to y'all is: What are signs that either I'm not gonna say y'all would show or? Sh- Shit, y'all would show for a woman to pick up on. Just say that, or for know. a woman to pick up on signs of you not wanting to be, th- make her your wife, or let's just say marry her. Let's just say y'all in a relationship, right? Mm-hmm. Let's just give that. And basically, you don't want to marry her, but you she's picking up on signs and things that 
may or may not show that you don't want to take it to the next step. So basically, what from a guy's perspective to women? Okay. What signs should she notice? There you go. That's about the her relationship with her mate. That's mm. exposing the fact that he's not move, looking forward to, oh, to going to the sense. next step. Okay, okay. I see how you are <clears throat> it. So um, what, what is it that she should pick up on and notice? You know, like, okay, it's been this long. And, you know, what are things that women okay. should Okay, realize. I'm glad you phrased it like that because yeah, I've never first, been in that position. Yeah, mm-hmm. so I was like, that's why I switched it up. In place. my head, I'm too real early on to even get to the point where I'm yeah. leading you on that long. Yeah, I'm probably long gonna be time. like, yeah, now nah, this ain't gonna work. And maybe to to, to guys as well, <laughs> like maybe because I haven't heard too many of <laughs> this guys. Guy. Too. <laughs> Just play the song. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Damn, baby, you love playing that song in the shower. <laughs> Baby, come, come in, on. sit down, let's, let's talk. talk. <laughs> but you never talk. You just play the song every time you get in the shower. Every time you, you just get in keep the car. playing it. Baby, damn, like I love Chris Brown. It's a classic album, but why you keep I need you to listen to it though. Why that? I mean, he literally broke it down. That's never all. right time to say goodbye. <laughs> listen um, to it again. But yeah, like, so what do y'all think? Like, listen to Chris Brown. Yeah, we just told you to answer. <laughs> that's a clear. That's not a, Chris he, Brown. What is? Steven okay. thinks. What does Michael like think? That's what I think. Some women don't like Chris Brown. <laughs> All right, cool. If they don't like Chris Brown, then that um, should definitely be a sign. Because now you know I'm playing something. You gotta go. Like, <laughs> it's like, you know what? I'm just finna go because you just keep playing this dude. I don't even like his music. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> See, you not even care. That's what I be talking Yo. about. Like, they start hitting the dance moves. Let's say goodbye. Oh, yeah. Cool. <laughs> Until she grab a key and go outside. Ah, uh, that's hey, why man. I'm gonna have my car in the garage <laughs> somewhere. I got access. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> if you're in a relationship, you said you I got, got a access. personal garage. Damn. Yeah, you're in a relationship. It's over. Damn. Key, key, um, key, key, key. <laughs> I would say be very wary of giving. Uh, okay, I'm not gonna say don't give wife qualities because that's the whole point of someone wanting yeah. to know if they can wife you for sure. Mm-hmm. But your time. The timetable uh-huh. and their aspirations. Um, if they keep putting it off, if they keep on seeming like they're putting it like, oh, maybe next year, maybe next year. Uh, nah, you got to stop doing only, certain things. You only get two of those. Mm-hmm. I was just going to say that's a that's sign a right yeah, there. That's true. That's yeah. a sign right there. Or they use that against you. Like, let's just say you're doing something wrong or you're doing something they don't like. See, that's and why and that's, like, that's why I ain't trying to marry you right now. That's a, that's a, ooh, yeah, oh, somebody said that, that to you in general. That's a, that's yeah. a number one. You need one. to go ahead and red flag that. That's one of the top ones. Yeah. Like that, I want to keep using your mistakes as a reason why I don't want to marry you. That's a, mm-hmm. that's that's yeah. Or it's taking problem. care of him, and you're not the wife, the wife person, or the person that he wants you to be. Pretty much the wife that you choose to be, because at the end of the day, he's not okay. How do I make it? How do how do I make it for you guys to understand? Um, because it well, it's just I have a friend, and I don't want to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, basically, she does everything. Cook, uh-huh. clean, uh-huh. etc. Help them get jobs. Wife stuff. Everything is a wife. That's why I said you do all these qualities, but you don't get it in return. You don't get it in return. And then what he does is he uses it against her. Like yeah. if you don't do it that day, or you don't. Sometimes wash people his need a reality that day, or check. You don't fold his clothes that day, or you don't. Hey, well, this is why I can't marry you because you ain't cooking for and me. You got to do the threat thing though. Sometimes you, you got to get him with a reality check. Be like, all right, well, you know what? This is. This is we're good here, you know. Because some people let them let them think it's 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 truly over at that point. Well, some women love so hard that they think that that day will come. Yeah, and it doesn't. Dudes come, do too. And they continue to yeah, deal guys with definitely. Guys do it too. We 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 both sexes do it. Um, the issue is, but we y'all have the to, ones that ask to marry, we don't. Shoot, not not according to uh, what's his face? Who was that that just got Gilbert Arenas? Oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah. Okay, but let's just let's go old fashioned. I know. Fashion. I know but, Y'all supposed to well, go I mean, and ask the dad for just, her hand. It's just one of them things where women have to start putting the pressure back. Like, yeah, back. yeah. Because at the end of the day, this is really us arguing rocks and saying. I mean, I don't know. And, just, and I'm I'm happening. big on like yeah, you have to put the pressure. But it's also about the dynamic of the relationship in general. You have yeah. to understand your dynamic. This I literally had this conversation with Kess 
two weekends ago. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. I was like, it's it's re- everything is about the dynamic of your relationship. Yeah. Nobody yeah. can tell you how to do your relationship. Right. Now, at the same time, you need to understand what a true red flag is also. Mm-hmm. You have to be aware at least enough, not too emotionally invested to the point where you can't even see that. Like, you need to be able to see at least the red flags that's happening. Yeah, because he some keeps stuff pushing is, stuff back, throwing yeah. marriage in your <clears> face, <throat> saying, Oh, I don't want to marry you because da 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 da. And you're doing all of this. It may be, there may be some problems there. Well, what I, yeah. this is what I told Warren the other day, or today. I was like, Well, it also depends on the guy. Because if the guy does not, if the guy is not mentally, financially yeah. in a place that he wants to we take that wanna... next step, then he, because. How's he going to take care of you? That's what happened with me. As a, and a, as a man, you want to be the provider. You yeah. want to be the person that's the head of the house. So in order for you to be that, you have to become that. So you have to make sure your financials are good, your mental straight, everything that you need to to make sure you're that right man for your whoever your wife chooses. And, and that, that goes in two parts. Mm-hmm. Not to cut you off. No, it's, it's like a two-part thing because that's on a basis of we're dating and we're not living together. Yeah. yeah. Now, if you are doing the marriage, if you legally married by law because you've been living together for over what five seven years mm-hmm. at that point i'll just be like well what's the difference you know like yeah if, if you start not, to feel that way yeah though. if you're not if you're not living together if it's just like we still boyfriend girlfriend we still mm-hmm. like just casually you know dating but we're just dating for for some years and you spend a night sometimes i may spend a night at your crib but we ultimately are just dating and we're you know living in our own separate places trying to get it together you will kind of have a different feeling or ideology towards that scenario versus a we got kids we live together Mm -hmm. we've been living together since our kids have been here and been born we just don't i just haven't pushed you know made that step to marry and and those situations i'll be a little confused because i'm like you you doing everything else i mean the only difference is of course you know you want to look right under the eyes of god Mm-hmm. But you're living together and you have children. You might want to put see, that together. See, my personal thing for me during, for my personal experience, I didn't rush into marriage. Not because I didn't want to, because I already knew she was my wife. Right. It was more so like, all right, mm-hmm. now we, I know you want to do this, that, and the third, and I got to have the money to do that. Yeah. At the end of the day. So yeah. that was the main thing. And so like, I was like, all right, well, I'll just start with one sense. step and sense. I'll just get the ring type of situation. Yeah. Now, if that's not even seeming like that's even in the plans at all which you should probably see by now because you you know there's certain certain things that the person's doing every time Mm -hmm. you know you bring it up or have a like y'all hint towards it or any of that and he goes oh no 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 man maybe next year like if he's doing that then like you got to put some pressure on move out like especially if you don't have kids yeah uh, move out get some distance and start you know distancing yourself taking time away from them because like, time is ticking. Yeah. Like, you're not going to be young, you and, know, forever. And see how he feels without you being there <coughs> doing certain things. Mm-hmm. Sometimes that's the reality check that your partner needs yeah. to realize, like, oh, damn, I do need this person. I do love them this much to the point to where I can't really see myself. Because sometimes they got to know that they can't see themselves without you. Yeah. Because yeah. no, a lot of guys sure. feel like, oh, they're going to be good regardless. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, we were just talking about that before the pod, like how some people from a single mindset may see things as like, oh, man, I ain't trying to get tied down and whoopty whoop. But as for myself, and I know you were saying the same thing, like, mm-hmm. you know, our partners really help us through for a sure. lot of things. Our wives just be there for, you know, mm-hmm. like business stuff. I mean, always a, a second ear, a, you know, second set of eyes mm-hmm. whenever you don't feel like something is right. When I'm when we're editing, you know, hey, what, hey, what you think about this? You think this mm-hmm. is dope? And, you know, it's like they're there and they, you know, are a huge impact. Yep. So sometimes some women, if you are in a situation where you feel like that, Sometimes you got to kind of pull back a little bit and just let him realize, like, this is what it will be like if I'm not here, if I'm not doing all those things. And, you know, kind of let him figure it out mm-hmm. or find out. But. Yeah, those, my, my woman is my final eyes before I submit anything. Oh, so. for sure. You better talk that talk, Steve. So, for real? I mean, nah, for real. For that's guys, just what it, it is. It <laughs> feel like it's a burden. It's not. I mean, it's just. And again, it may not be for everybody. It doesn't have to be. Like mm-hmm. you don't have to badge it. But the thing is, if if you know it's not for you, don't hold somebody else down and away from going and finding somebody that's gonna yeah. give them what they want. I feel like that's the selfish part. I'm just gonna sit here and hold you, and you know, play with your emotions for years and years and years until you, you know, lose the spark that you probably had in your early twenties. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And then now you didn't. <clears throat> changed and your mental you know you, you just and you have no contract have, yeah, yeah it's like now it's like i didn't got you and almost what you would say a dried up 
I dried you out, and now it's like I used you up. You Time stuck with me in a way. Mm-hmm. Yeah, or or that. So. For I guess in a whole different weird kind of nutshell, look, just know your worth and your time, and just realize notice those flags. And if you're noticing a person, that, like I know you love them a lot, mm-hmm. you know, but if you want that title, you and you deserve it. I mean, everyone deserves it, but if you are deserving of the title and you want it, you should get it, and you shouldn't let nobody tie you down and hog you down until they ready, mm-hmm. because it's the ball shouldn't just be in one person's court. No, it's okay. a compromise. It takes two people to tango. For right. sure. This is very true. And since we, you know, we're talking about just, you know, people potentially waiting on weddings, we were also talking about, um, it's now it's another couple. We was talking about initially a couple that was charging people to come Somebody to their wedding. Doing it. But now someone in Houston. Dagnabbit. In Houston. They're trying to make it a trend. Oh, uh, they decided a Houston couple asked guests to foot the bill of a two hundred thousand dollar wedding. Guess how much they were charging no, per ticket? To you. A thousand, four fifty per ticket. Mm-hmm. That's not bad. I see that. I go to Beyonce concert. Hey, y'all want to know the truth? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Here we go. You want to the real? We just had a wedding. Mm-hmm. Less than a we year ago. We missed this trend. Damn. Why wasn't that trend? It, hello. Damn. I. I I wish that we had that opportunity to bill everybody because we took on everything by ourselves. But at, hey, listen, I don't care. As an example, I was joking though. You, yeah, you no, know, she's serious, serious now. She's As serious. an example, <laughs> you can't even get serious though because you wanted the wedding. I did. So at the end of the day, it's, it's what I wanted. But when you look back at everything, it's for the people. It's not for you. Mm, mm, so when mm. you look back at that, everything you spend she is really for other people it. to eat. You pay for caterers for oh, them to eat. Lord. You pay for an open bar for them to have. Mm. You don't even enjoy that you, stuff because they men. got cameras. Yeah, because we we hear that already. We hear that before it happens. You taking We've pictures of you the that. whole time, mm. and you don't even that. have a chance to enjoy <laughs> the bar you pay for. All Preach, that. understandable. You don't even have a chance to enjoy the food that you. <laughs> Thank eat you. You know where we at now. You're getting up every two seconds to be <laughs> in a video. It. I hear you. Or a picture. Oh Lord, she got it. Talk that talk <laughs> after the fact, but it's okay. She got she got what she wanted, and that's what mattered. And it, I'm it someone that wanted, and I, that's why I so I'm speaking on it. I'm somebody like y'all all know just wanted my learn. wedding, just had to learn and to I had to kind of learn myself mm-hmm. and go through it, even though he did mm-hmm. bong, shoot those bong, things at bong. me ahead of time. So how much would y'all would have charged? One fifty, four fifty, four fifty. That was a I'm not gonna lie, Doug. Four fifty, bro. Y'all know how we are. We wouldn't, we wouldn't have charged anybody. Four, they we had a two hundred thousand dollar wedding. Two fifty. One fifty, one fifty. I could plus tax. What's the- <laughs> what's that? One eighty seven or something? One eighty seven. Because you know something it's crazy. Di- Texas tax is different from every other state tax. It's going up. So one eighty seven. I mean, tax. don't get it twisted. They spent that much. Tax, we, tax. we spent what thousands. What do you mean tax? Two hundred. All right, two hundred. And then we. What do you mean two hundred? That's like thirty dollars <laughs> worth of gas just to get out there. Two hundred so. flat. You don't have to worry about the change and all that. Two hundred flat. <sighs> we in the wedding though, so you we know good, what, right? Ross? When you get ready to pay for your wedding, <laughs> we're gonna let we're gonna say, "Hey, Ross, how does it feel?" Be, being in the wedding, we good, right? To drop all these if thousands the wedding, on this good. wedding. Okay, cool. Yeah, well, everybody else worry about that. You get a discount. Yeah. All right. Oh, what? Damn, damn. <laughs> not even a, at least. I gotta pay sure. for the nice suit too. Yeah. yeah I eat. What do you mean? I can't mm-hmm. get in for the free. We use, never get in for the free. You gonna use those pictures? I can't walk through the kitchen. I can't walk through the kitchen now. Of course. Oh. Oh, but I gotta pay to walk to the kitchen. No, you are gonna pay already. But the kitchen, <laughs> not, but the I kitchen is, is, is wow, in the package. That's not oh the same, my though. god! The, package. You, you, the kitchen walk. Wow! <laughs> it's, in the, it's in the package all together. Wow! You know what's so funny? Not only be, <laughs> be. Oh. when people complain about their suits having to buy it more time. I bought both my son's suits. My suit. Well, the thing about it is, it's not even that. It's just the simple fact that. I always look at things as I'm trying to be reasonable to other people. Yes, like you are. accommodate. Of course I always do. And so but I ain't gonna say the what well, y'all. Yeah. I ain't gonna snitch. But some homies were like, bro, man, bump that. Whatever you want, just get it. If somebody yeah. can afford it, they can afford it. If they Pretty can't, much. They can't. As you should. So from so there, because I was just so such in a like I want to make it reasonable, you know, because this is you asking somebody to be a part of something that you're doing. They don't have to, yeah, you know, course. and all that. But in, in that same, you know, thought process, I should also realize, like, hey, if they are going to be a part of it, at least they are aware of how much things should are going to be costing. And they should be able to let me know, communicating if this is something that they're going to be able to handle or not. So, too so yep. I was very verbal about everything yeah, I too. could do. That's cold. Yeah. 
And so just go from there. I can't even get a discount. That is the discount. That's, that's like so. With everybody else is like two fifty. No, it's two hundred. Y'all get half off, so y'all just only paying a hundred. <laughs> okay, yeah. that's crazy. Why are we doing this? It's I mean, happening. it shouldn't be it's, that. It's the fact that the Roseman already had to pay. Then we got to pay on top. The people coming so the only got to pay for the entry. Huh? <laughs> is your mom, dad paying? Oh, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! Yo, you gonna fuck. charge your mom? Bro? He will not. Sure will. He's yeah, foolish. Nah, bro, hey, this already happened and nobody was charged, so it doesn't matter. We already know. We're, we're thinking about going back, though. We're, we're going he said back. we're going oh, back. We're in time. Wow. He said we're following the trend. We're oh. paying for parking in at the door. Parking? Oh yeah, for sure. Hey, what, hold oh, you on. Wanna, oh, you want to get carted too? Oh, oh I'm not gonna lie. Wedding's gonna be Wait, empty. Y'all got carted in the cart. cart. Nobody had to walk. Come on, bro. I walk. I happily walk. Oh, walk, bro. I, I didn't even ask for the cart. If you're walking on the pavement, that's a fee. Grass, what do you mean? grass you're street. On the pavement, Yo, that's own a that. fee. What are you talking? Now you just what are you a slave person, owner? That's that fee. I'm, I'm just kidding. Nah, um, that's a fee of feelings. Yeah. That's how he feels circle. deep down inside. Hey, hey, did you pay to walk on the pavement? Yes. Get on, I oh, saw you walking on that bro. pavement. Get on the grass, brother. Charging, Get off of it. Charging the moms and pops. 50 cent a footstep. But now, um. Uh, <laughs> that's insane. You gonna charge the, the person that's gonna marry y'all together too? Absolutely. Bro, I mean. Everybody. It's us. You gotta. <laughs> you gotta charge you walk in. If you pull up to that place, you pay. If you're breathing in the air, you're the- paying. <laughs> You niggas that's cleaning? The cops too. Hey, what? <laughs> Cleaners, everybody. Come kids on. coming out they uh Come on, the kids. They- <laughs> you gonna charge the coming kids? They All the allowance is done. They, coming out they pick up. Hey, empty that pig. Let me. Let me. Wow. Allowance is done. Yeah. Um, well, yeah, y'all gonna, well, I guess that's the new I'm not trend. gonna lie. A lot of them a lot of them weddings about to be empty. Yeah, no. Sure. Yeah. I believe they had a decent amount of people that paid but, though. But I will say they, though. They got wealthy friends. I think I think your 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 support system kind of shows mm-hmm. you know say so sometimes like some friends like kind of like how y'all did like y'all were setting up stuff for us the nights and yeah. you know we was going out and we didn't have to worry about paying for anything yeah that was dope <laughs> um and you know you and, and it's like eat? i don't even want that you feel me like i'm not even that type of brain you are y'all already yeah, know like yeah, i don't be know. wanting nobody to pay for me for nothing and you know but just just the fact that it's just a support system like you don't have to do it but yeah just doing it it's a very kind gesture and it's always appreciated but you mm-hmm. know it just shows you that even with a wedding kit, anything, it takes a village for a lot of things. Of you kind of kind of see whenever you're doing some birthday parties, anything, when you see the people that, you know, and everything, unfortunate things happen where people can't make it. I'm not saying you always yeah, got to be there for something. For sure. You see your village when you're doing something. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. you see the people who, you know, I always appreciate anybody taking time to do anything yeah. that's related to something that I'm celebrating or doing. Yeah. Um, it's, it's always appreciated. I mean, yeah. If I can't make it to something, it's for a reason. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I try to, you know, I try to do the same as well. And, you know, working on that as much as possible because people don't realize, like, we need to stop just waiting until a person pass away. Yep. Yeah. Or when, you know, that's just like the big thing with family. Like, families have this thing where it's like, hey, right oh, y'all up. over there? Cool. Then when a funeral come up, oh, man, we need to get together. And yep. Whoop. And then when the, when the weeks kind of ease the pain from whoever passed away, we get back into our normal. Yeah. It's back to regular schedule That's program. Mm-hmm. Um, and you're, you're, you notice how close your friends, like now I start to feel like friends start to become more family than family. Yep. Mm-hmm. Um, or at least extended family because, you know, you see them on a daily basis. You talk to them, you communicate with them. Mm-hmm. Um, certain cousins and stuff like that, especially that I used to talk to is like. That's kind of how it is. You, you know what I'm saying? Or like when something dope happened, they'll reach out to other people and they won't even contact you about it. Or they'll, mm-hmm. You know, it's just certain things you know like i wish we could get better but i know it's reality in life and yeah as a kid you know uh one thing i the older people used to always say when we thought everything was just all peaches they would say keep living yeah <laughs> and now i get that so much more like mm-hmm. as a, a older adult like hey just keep living you're gonna start seeing you think that friend gonna be your friend forever you think this yeah. person is who they said they are but you learn a lot of things through wisdom and you start to see different shades and sides of people and how everybody grows up different no thanks yeah no, I'm actually spot on with that. I don't mean to preach, but you know, just so. more of a story. Everybody paying to get in the way. Come together. Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> that was a sweet way to say, Yo ass gonna pay. Damn. <laughs> sweet way to say, but we Yo friends, ass though. gonna I know. pay. So, yeah, come good. on, help Go ahead and put that on the shirt. Yeah. Throw some gratuity in there, too. Just sweet way to say, Yo ass gonna pay. You're gonna, you gonna wear that shirt at the wedding, too. Yeah, I think it's gonna get kind of wild <laughs> with these uh, restaurants now. Like, they, they already throw the gratuity in there, and then they have the nerve. 
to, uh, to ask for an additional <laughs> tip. Yeah, if you get the f out of here with like that. Were, I was wondering why the receipt was getting longer. I'm like, wait, bruh. <laughs> when I see extra that box now, down here, oh, the zero gets on there quick. Yep, yeah, and I, you know, I make sure I cross out the zero and make sure. You oh, the the zero is getting slash. the, the yeah, slash. I damn, across. I damn near rip it. <laughs> yeah, nah, bro. Once they, once I see that, because I, I think I forgot where we. I don't know if it was at um, what. what was it uh when we went to the movies to see Deadpool? Did they do the? I don't know if it was. Remember. Did they, they do it on there? Like the additional, yeah. they the did. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, yeah, because I the, I couldn't the, see because it was dark. Yeah, they so, had that light on. So I was about to That's you know put my tip, but then put that flashlight. On, I put, you know I wanted to double check, and I already saw they already added it. Yeah. So I was about to give. Oh, you already got me. So I must have zero 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 zero. And I'm I'm a tipper, but yeah yeah I am too. If if it depends on the party size. Mm-hmm. Like, if it's a large party, I'm going to add it. Of course, tip. of course. If of you course. are above and beyond a great uh, waiter or waitress, mm-hmm. I'm going to add an extra tip. Like, always. But if I'm just walking in to pick up my food, oh, and yeah. they be having a little, oh, little add a tip. Uh, no. thing on there, I'm like, <laughs> for what? You know, I don't even be trying to be disrespectful. No. So no. if somebody working the food and the services, no. let me know. But when I walk in and pick up my food, and if I had to drive to go and just pick it up, and all you did was just, here you go? No. No. <laughs> the conch shell told the me. The conch shell. No. Responsible. Can I have some? Because the cook ain't getting that. No. Tip. Can I have right. some? <laughs> some places. No. <laughs> but the can, cook ain't getting that. Can tip. I have this tip, please? Pause. No. <laughs> Well, you know, in some restaurants, they got a thing where they split the tips among yeah, all do, the yeah. servers. Yeah, that's what I said. I said they do it at wait Chili's. a minute. Yeah, they Chili's. do it at uh, Fridays too. That's, that's my first like job. I was like, okay. as a host, as a host, we had to split tips with the servers, so like oh, our no. portion would go to them. Oh, okay. yeah, no. Nah. I feel like if you were awesome, that don't mean if you gave me cash, was. you wouldn't get nothing. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Of yeah. course, it was like you know, I slide that little cab. I'm like, put this in your pocket. Yeah, I did. I do that all the time. I just give people money. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can throw tips out there at, t- at Chili's. You know what I'm saying? Three, you know, two for ten, three for twenty. <laughs> oh yeah, Chili's. That's where I had the five dollar rule. That's why I actually came up with the five dollar rule. It would be like start at five. Yeah. If you're doing terrible service, it goes down by like a dollar each Damn. every time you do certain things. Oh, it took you three minutes. I'm gonna take th- two to three dollars off. Um, oh you, oh you, get, oh you brought that you to me fast. Rubric. It'll bring, it'll bring it back up. You and got a I had got a no, I really did. Like ask kids like this. <laughs> I'm not lying at all. It would go up oh, you to just like almost had it. I had a person go up to like twenty five dollars, just killing it. And I was like, dang. And then this one dude, I had, I gave him a huge tip because no, it was because they were dealing with a racist dude at the other table, and I heard him oh. say something crazy. And so I was like, hey, um, I wanted to make sure I gave you this tip for uh, this, this table set now, and I gave him a hundred. And he was like. I have had a night. <laughs> I was oh, like, no, I awesome. saw, bro. They, they humans, bro. They, <laughs> that they was humans. sweet. They that was humans. awesome. And uh, I remember doing that one time. We went to uh, for after a game. Mm-hmm. Uh, we all and the whole family went. And this guy, I think he just got out the. Uh, he was out of service. He was taking a break, and he was just about to get back deployed. Mm-hmm. Um, so he was just working a little bit and helping his folks out. So he was exceptional, man. So we helped him out. He was really appreciative. Um, I love end, a good waiter, you know, waiter waitress, man. Thank mm-hmm. you for your service and all that, and I hope everything you know works out for him. And but every time I think about a waiter or waitress, I just gotta shout out Gas Tank. <laughs> shout out to Gas Tank from uh, from Denny's on Six Ten. Oh, I was like, who the hell is that? Yeah, <laughs> we gave him a name. They That's not gave even his name. him that nickname. That's not even his name. Cause he, was, he was he was fueled up, bro. Gas Tank was on it. They bro, called man. this man Gas Tank <laughs> because he was fat. He was always. I thought he was on drugs, if you ask me. He was like, he was just too like too active, too active. Gas tank. I mean, he was seen, on it though with the food. He would but. see your drink get like to a quarter left. Yeah, he, and he'll I'm be like, um okay. like I'm talking on the opposite side of the restaurant. He'll hit this little gesture here. He, once he did that, oh, you knew it was a refill coming. What was coming, bro? <laughs> hey, I don't know if he's still there. We gotta go visit. I mean, working working in the food industry the first half of my life, really, because I started <clears throat> TJ Friday, TJ Fridays, Chick Fil A, Sonic. Mm-hmm. I always have a different appreciation for waiters and waitresses. But mm-hmm. you said Chick Fil A, Chick Fil A, yeah. I know they have the best. Uh, yeah, at that time, yeah. I feel like you don't see it as the same yeah certain areas some areas of, i'm like hey y'all ain't y'all ain't really my pleasure in it up it's almost, <laughs> my it's almost like y'all ain't, y'all ain't my pleasure in it's it. almost like a relationship after 
the spark go away. Yeah. Like Chick fil A used to hit you with the whole, hey, my play. Like, Some of y'all be like, yeah, you, you welcome. After a while, <laughs> like, damn. Stop doing all the spontaneous things you used to do. To no, keep the other day going. I went to, what was it, Smoothie King? Uh, Tropical Smoothie, the place right here. I drove up and the lady was like, you can go. Whoa. Bit what? Yeah, that and that's exactly what my reaction was, and I think I was on the phone with Warren, and he was like, "I heard her," <laughs> and, nah. and I was, he's known me. He said, so I understand. Was, I'm always like, "Get your food." Yeah, first. he always yeah, like, "You should get your food." No, for sure, get your food. Because he know I'll go say off. What you gotta say. So she was like, "You can order, like you can start." I was like, "She ain't even." How about hello. you learn some like, customer she didn't service first, or anything? <laughs> I had to tell I had to tell somebody that before. I don't be trying to, but I'm just like, because I understand you deal with a lot of people. I work in customer service. I was Trust me, job, I get it. Working at a grocery store, you got to deal with all these people's personalities. My thing was always, especially when I was on the register, you got ignorant customers, mm-hmm. but then you got great customers. You got customers that's trying to lighten the mood and just start a conversation. I don't want to treat each customer like the last ignorant one I had. Yeah, that, that was big you for know? me. So I, I always tried to make sure that I came, you know, kind of reset, reset after each, reset. you know, transaction. So that way I'm not giving you the same type of energy. That's something <clears> I, I used to actually, because I was at Sonic for like three and a half years, almost four years. Mm-hmm. And so I became assistant manager there, whatever, for a while. I'd been a manager almost two years. Did y'all have to skate? Some people could. Like, it was optional. Mm. And I gave you like a dollar more or whatever. Ooh, I worked there skate. and I bust my ass on skate. Oh, yeah. I used to see it all the time. Like, they'd bust <laughs> their ass with all the ice cream have to redo yeah. all. I already had it remade for them. I'd be like, here. I'm sorry, bro. Just, I, I understand. Take I was so mad. I had cuts play, on my arm. It's okay. Here, go ahead. Take it back out. <laughs> I'm I'm clogging out. <laughs> <laughs> now I've seen some pretty bad ass. falls, but then that gives them better tips though, that, especially at that because that's old. It was I was in old Pearland, uh, so like oh, yeah, you they, know they, a lot they, of it's older white dudes, Hispanic dudes coming off of work. They looking at little skinny uh, white girls and they're like, ooh, like all right, they weird. Yeah. They was weird, bro. So yeah, they would they, they would tip them more. I'd be like, damn, yeah. she. I see you fell. You okay? His twenty dollars. Like goddamn, you got tip more for being I'm terrible. About to fall. I had the, the embarrassing fall though, like the one. Where- <laughs> one of them. Not the. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. The, one the of amount them. of the amount of falls I seen like that. All the food fell on me. I had to go home and get changed. I seen a girl like <laughs> she Not she tried home. to get off that curve and she said, <laughs> and her stuff went <laughs> straight up and I was like, uh oh. And I I tried to get out there. And I was like, dang, because I was at the door. <clears throat> When I seen it happen, so I was like, I can try to see if I can say drill. something. And I was like, I tried to go, and, you know, help, and I was like, I'm too far. I, I, so I just slowed down. I started walking after that because it was like, boom. Damn. It was like, it was inevitable. Boom. Everything yeah. hit her in the face. I was yeah. like, oh. I was like, well, that's what happened with me, right? Just like that, ice cream <laughs> fell on my nose. Then I see the girl. She hit somebody truck so hard. She like put a dent on their picture. Damn. But they liked the girl so much because that was like their their girl. Yeah. So like they asked for her. So like they call in and be like, "Hey, can I get such and such?" And um, I be like, "Yeah, that's cool." Where's uh, Jenny? I be like, "Hey, such and such, <laughs> um, whoever it would be, um, Amy, Danny, y'all of them, uh, whichever one it was that they wanted. Like, hey, send her out there. No, um, no, Chris. Such and such is at the. Um, no, Chris." I would get asked for it, but you know that's because I'm me. Right. But <laughs> leave Devontae back there, bro. <laughs> Everybody, else, it wasn't dudes really getting asked for. I was one of the few because I was fast as hell. Like mm. I would, I'd be in there running because I'm, I'm trying to make. I was, I, I have a row, a bankroll like that because I ain't no Sonic tip like that until yeah, they tips were good. I, I didn't was, know I was, until yeah, I worked. Don't there. get the Sonic workers it's wrong. Hey, I was in high school and they gave. <laughs> hey, I heard y'all be having bankrolls. They don't, they don't tip like that no more. They really. don't. They really mm. don't. So, question. Like, you work this, honey. Mm-hmm. It's four oh one. I'm in line. Ah, the <laughs> system won't let you, big dog. Really? Oh, yeah. System wow. won't let you. What if I've been waiting? Well, they fixed it. They fixed it now. What if, if it wasn't you're in my the fault? Line and, you're uh-huh. li- and you're, they hit a little noise for your car to yeah. get past, and then you now if there. you start the order, yeah. like you can, there's overrides you can do or whatever or what, like depending on your system. Because I know they could probably got newer system now. We was on an old ass system. How about that? Because I was just so. at Sonic and I was like, it's four oh one. Can I still get a? They should definitely be able to do it now. Like with the stuff we got now, that was back in what. 2015 when I quit there. We talking about the happy hour time. Uh, the the uh, yeah, two to four mm-hmm. prices. When, when I quit, it was 2015, so that's almost 10 years ago. They they definitely got systems that can override that easily. Yeah. I was we were working on an older system, <clears throat> and yeah. so once it hit four, I mean 401, that's done. Like I could put it, like I could personally do it as a manager. I'd be like, hey. Give them the give them the deal, whatever. Gotta give them cool. half up. I'll come yeah. and swipe it real quick. Yeah, yeah. Like, hey, that's 
That's such and such. Go ahead, give him fifty percent off. What's up, man? Like so that. <laughs> that was that would be like the only time. You need to find me a regular spot. That, but that that's how people would get the the deal because it'd be like somebody that we know that's a regular and they come like, oh my, I had to pick up my kids. I got you. Yeah. <laughs> I got you. Yeah. Go ahead, Damn car ride line. <laughs> <laughs> but other than that, like regular car ops couldn't do it. Like they couldn't go ahead and change that. I'm sure they have a system now. They not, they not like us. That's a little different. Has has uh, Drake recovered, or is he in a recovering process? Drake, I don't feel like Drake ever really had to recover. That part, he just had to deal with the social all media the, being social mm-hmm. media, and then you know how fast social media rewash. Like they they be like, all right, we're back. They make the song so tiring. It like, does. Like, I, like every time it comes on the radio now, I cut oh, the, it's a yeah, it's change. like it's too much. Da, 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 like, they nope. literally know how to drain you out of a song. Don't, yeah. don't get it wrong, the song is dope. Yeah, for sure. He, he, right. he, he lost the battle. We know that. But it's like, damn, it's y'all gonna play this shit now. out? Like, but is he gonna win the war? <laughs> I don't know. Well, no. But, <laughs> it's oversaturated as hell, boy. Well, I was like, all right. He lost the battle. When I hear that beat, I'd be like, next. Yeah. yeah. Nah, <laughs> next. All I hear on the radio now, because I actually hear the radio every now and then, now we be in Nisha car, but all I hear is Glorilla. <clears throat> yep. oh, yeah, nah. Every time I, I like Glorilla. Me too. No, nah, she's nah. tough, but I'm just saying, like, I'm just hearing, like, it's mm-hmm. heavy Glorilla rotation. And then I think a lot of those uh, recent albums mm-hmm. getting a lot of love. It a lot goes of people so hard. And Jim, I heard, and I heard a lot of that. Yeah. As soon as you and cut then, the car on, yeah, Glow. <laughs> yeah. All right, I want to listen to something else. Now. Hey. Yeah. Okay. It's 7 p.m. Right. Right. <laughs> 95 degrees. Gotta put it on 96.5. I ain't got no. <laughs> gotta put it on. You don't got no what? I'm married. Oh. Yep. Yep. You gotta yeah, ask yeah. every time they they, they yeah, hit you. Yeah, got no what? I can't sing. What'd you say? What'd you say? I'm married. Okay. That's what I said. <laughs> you don't, you don't want me jamming certain songs, Ten years right? Strong. I can, I can listen to some too short. You know. <laughs> What's my favorite word? Shake that I, biscuit. I ain't gonna say it. <laughs> Yo, biscuit. Mm-hmm. But nah, you know yeah. Uh, she been, I think she got another song. She's supposed to be dropping. Uh, I don't know this weekend or some uh, Globe Rilla. So nah, she been killing it though. You be, you be like, honestly, jamming. I've been. Nah, this shit jams. Yeah, Honestly, I've jam. been listening to um, what is it, Euphoria, more than the latest diss track mm. from Kendrick. That that track go hard. Yeah, Euphoria. And yeah. it's like I actually appreciate it more it. now that I can listen to it now. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we know why the track was made. It was is it was a banger. It was the 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 knife, the hit. Yeah, the the final blow, and you know, unfortunately, you know, what I'm saying Drake took the L in that one, but it is what it is because at the end of the day. Uh, you know, he's still going to be Drake. He's still going to make some good music. People going to make their jokes. They're going to always make their jokes. And they still going to listen. But, yeah. And people okay, are still going to listen. I said this I before. That was in my head right now. Before, the, there. before the beef started, I was like, it doesn't matter who wins. They're both still going to get listened to at the end of this. Yeah. People was like, no, their career is going to die. I'm like, no. Blood money has I got this. Yeah. No. Nah. Yeah. That song's hard. They need to put that on the radio. Yeah, but I think it's only because it was um, it, it was, was technically leaked, and then I don't think I don't know what the logistics of it, it was. Some uh, record label, I think. Yeah, the record label. Forth. Yeah, so <laughs> that's why it's not released. But I mean, it's still jam. I'm about to say, are they playing it in the club? Yeah, yeah, they are. Oh yeah. yeah play how, how's the? I'm about to say it for right. sure. How do you know? You... I went last weekend. <laughs> okay, gotcha. You've been saying that every week now. No, I didn't. Last I'm week only... you said you went last week. No, so, I didn't. so wait, yes, how's the did. crowd? You know, since Drake died, how's how's the crowd? I, well, I did. Yeah, that's crazy. Why are you twitching, he says bro? He's Drake, what? No, I'm saying you know how people say he he's he's not you know relevant anymore. So I'm no, making the joke. I'm trying to say since even Ross, even during the, the even club, during the beat, the crowd, even you know, during the beat. So what's the vibes? Are they actually enjoying the song? Yeah, yeah like, they still listen to the song. I know nah, that song they couldn't be. Up. They huh. couldn't be. Huh? I know that song go up in there. Uh, which one? The, uh, his newest one? Yeah, oh, I haven't heard that. I haven't heard that one yet. It's yeah, I haven't heard that one yet. Because it just came out. The, the Drake song with the 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 leaks or leaks? no? I'm talking about the one with him and a uh, young thug and uh. I don't care, I don't about, care my about my ops. ops. Yeah, that, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, I haven't heard that one in the club yet. Oh, oh okay. that's crazy. really? Because when it came out, I, I can was, tell you I right now, my my homeboy, <laughs> my homeboy has played it in San Antonio. Oh, he's, was, he a Drake fan, so it I was knocking. He's, he's played it. Go crazy. Oh yeah. Yeah, nah. It, it, he, I mean, it's just it's one of those things where he gonna still create music that people listen to. I mean, people listen to his old stuff. Mm-hmm. Like he has a lot of classic songs. Whether you a fan of him or not, a lot of people still listen to his music. He ain't losing no streams anytime soon. So nah, it's it gotta it things. gotta be in a it gotta be like a, a dedicated event. 
like a '90s party, or uh, it has to be a themed event for you not to hear Drake at us at a yeah, pretty much club. yeah, yep. Like, like, and I'm not talking. It has to be early 2000s, early 2000s and uh, behind. Yeah. That's the only way you won't hear Andy Drake unless they just said fuck Tech, the techno. Yeah, unless they were anti Drake. Like he yeah. has to be an anti Drake DJ. Because I don't know what spot. To be. Even if somebody has a beef with him, like all right, bro, it's only so much. Because of... he has. Because somebody gonna walk up and ask for it. <laughs> yeah. You got yeah. too many songs that, you know, people turn up to, the birthday <clears throat> songs. Like, yeah. you know, they going to play that. Well, they play that Baby Daddy whatever song, right? Yeah, with uh, Sexy Baby Red. Daddy, yeah. You can't not hear them. Yeah, it, it's ain't nothing you can do about that. So Strip club. You know they Definitely. Play. That's a hard place to not play Drake. Yeah, you know. Drake and Future. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like, you play. yeah, Drake and Future. Should they, they still play Tiger in the strip club because that's little. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You Tiger's go back really underrated, ones. bro. Tiger really be. He knew his bag. He, he strip really club be music. Be hitting, <laughs> he be hitting it on the nail when he put nasty. nasty. He was straight yeah. strip club music. He knew what he was doing. That's Especially when him and Chris Brown would get together, bro. Mm-hmm. Oh fan of a fan. Oh, Stay man. Serious. Oh, classics, bro. So that's Great mixtape. Classics, haymaker, bro. man. Double haymaker, bro. But, you yeah, know, nah, um, yeah, I just, the, the scene now, like the club scene, um, I can only imagine, like, when we were the going and how it is now with the more of the flexing and just like how we also talked about how they do less dance floor, more sections. And then yeah. the section, what irritate me about that, this is why I wanted to bring it up. You can't do a section with a little picnic table, <laughs> three chairs. Then you charge a three fifty. Yeah, when, we need to stop this, bro. We need to stop. Even though I don't go, I'm speaking for the people that are still going out. Because y'all getting ripped off. Y'all gotta stop putting a little Walmart table mm-hmm. in the corner and putting two steel chairs from wrestling, <laughs> and then pay, saying, "All right, this is four fifty. Then paying two hundred dollars for a regular ass rock bottle. You like, really come on, only now. paying to just be able to sit down. Yeah. Why are you paying two hundred dollars for a regular Ciroc bottle? Like I ain't trying to mess y'all stuff up, but <laughs> that's on, crazy man. to me. At least build something that's gonna be real sustainable or that's gonna mm-hmm. actually look the part. Boys mm-hmm. well, got Casamigos for one fifty. Yeah. What what? Hey bro, I got a section. <laughs> what do you mean by that? Now you gotta ask people <laughs> what do you mean that's throwing functions. <laughs> what do you mean? What kind of section? Yeah, can you, you uh can you can I borrow fifty from you? <laughs> yeah. Like, can oh, I the stretch, stretch my legs in there? Can I, you know? Section is, oh. <laughs> that's what that's that's what somebody asked. They said, "What's the biggest scam <laughs> that's <laughs> that's uh, normalized?" Sections, sections, sections. Yeah, sections. Yeah. sections in a club is fucking the biggest scam ever, Super bro. Scary, bro. And I and I say this again, um, because I know birthday season rolling in again. The weather finna. If you not, I don't go out, so I already understand <clears> that my chances of going is gonna be very slim. But if it ain't set up easy. For us to get in there, I'm not going. Just going to be honest. I'm he said he need to go up. through the kitchen. I he even said be, it in the video. Oh, no. <laughs> waiting in line. We did. I did that yeah. in the video. I'm not going to be waiting in line. I'm not going to be sweating. I'm not going to be standing up. Oh, uh, yeah. No options. It's funny. If you would have stayed. But Come you didn't know. Yeah, you no, didn't shout know. out to the homie. No, for, it ain't even about. It was an event we was going to. Mm-hmm. And oh, yeah, there was a ridiculous. <laughs> gotcha. line, and it's not even bro. a. It's not even about the homie <laughs> because I, I called him. Mm-hmm. You know, so you know I ain't gonna say no name, but I called the homie because um, that does kind of go in line with this. But it was a line, and you uh, wasn't even there when I, I got there. So I would have been sitting in line. Me and Nisha would have been yeah. standing in line the whole time yeah. mm-hmm. until you got there. Then you stood in line for a minute until somebody recognized uh, you, one of the bouncers or whatever. No, mm-hmm. red flag was we were. You would have still been outside. Like yeah, that's <laughs> the party. I'm in the inside party section where I'm not getting heated up. Oh, yeah. like you get yeah. out in and you're still out there. No, I'm. Not- so y'all would have got in and y'all would have still been outside. Oh yeah. no! So you didn't actually go in. You you went out. <laughs> we went in and out. So then you went back in because then Ross in, so. Ross was oh, like, that's "Bro, dirty. you ain't have to leave. You really left." Like, so you got to step inside to get some cool air. One thing, yeah. uh, one thing you don't know about me nah, is it's if too I don't, hot out here. If I ain't feeling something, I'm leaving. I don't, you know, <laughs> nah, facts. Me like, too. If I, ain't, if I ain't feeling it, I'm I'm gone. I, so I think that comes with marriage. <laughs> Yeah. Because and I hit the homie up too. I was like, "Hey, bro, I ain't gonna be able to do it. Happy I'd birthday!" Be like, I'd be quick. I'd be like, "You know, this ain't gonna work. I'm, I'm gonna probably turn around and go home." Yeah, yeah I'm but, going back to the house. Yeah, <laughs> and here come Ross day. with this. Oh, bro, turn, how far are you? Yeah, because I. Matter. I was like, "It oh, don't matter. Doesn't matter, bro. Well, 
Yeah, because then he would have Ross to was like, parking. there could be a chance. Yeah. yeah. Like parking yeah, he would is have another to thing. Parking, yeah. so. And Ross was trying to. He, he tried. You did try. You know, so yeah. If you know him, he no change in his mind, baby. Uh, Oh, I, I get that. Good. But I mean, it worked out, right? Because <laughs> yeah, we would have cool. ran into cool. people that we probably didn't want to run into. Because <laughs> he tried to do a whole surprise okie dokie thing. I wasn't even trying to. Yeah. He did try to surprise yeah, him. I wasn't trying to surprise Well, no. they all had fun. That's all that matters. Yeah. yeah he, nah, he know cool. what I'm talking about, though. But um, <laughs> they, they had fun. I still enjoy myself. Because my parents, see, the thing is, and that's what people like. My parents were barbecuing, oh, so we had to bring the kids over there. And I already didn't want to really bring the kids there because I know I they both was gonna the be barbecuing. Day. So oh, I was just like, man, I kind of feel bad that I'm leaving them while they're trying to cook. But oh, I know the no. kids are cool. But just all in all, once I realized what the situation was, I'm like, oh, this ain't gonna hurt nothing. I'm gonna just go back. And then we all just ate, help, you know, finish helping them. I mean, they was already done cooking, so we ate good and just all enjoyed family time. So it wasn't no lose. Because yeah. you had text me when you were <laughs> about to leave. I think during that time, oh uh, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, that was, was that, yeah. But I'm just saying, just just to let people know, uh, for all the homies that watch the pod, if you know you don't have it like that in the situation that you're going to, just don't invite me. Up. I'm not. He said he's too bougie. You going. got these the bougie boys? No. <laughs> Did y'all forget? Everybody has their thing, you know. Everybody got their thing. Some people, some, some things, people got a valet. Some people got a, you know. <laughs> Have certain things eat with plastics only at the restaurant. So that's so me too. Three shirts we need. We need the bougie boys. <laughs> we need uh, shoot the three and leave it up there. <laughs> and then what was the last thing you said? Something about stay. If you you want to stay, you gotta pay. Something like that. <laughs> what? So those three shirts have you to be. Plan to stay, then you merch. Have to pay. That's in the clutch that's merch. Fire. <laughs> you plan to stay, then your ass gonna have to pay. <laughs> there it is. Right. <laughs> Wait, he Warren needs a shirt to say, "I'm going through the kitchen." Oh, Facts. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no. Ross actually started that. I no, I didn't. He, <laughs> I, I mentioned it one time. You started, and it was over. It was over. Bro. That's a start. <laughs> I mentioned it one it time. Didn't you say you pulled a wing too from one of them? I and never eating? did. Oh, no, they just start no, walking no, through with the wing. I'm not doing that. <laughs> hey, this, that's hey, wild. this fire. I'm Whatever say, sauce this is, that's why. I'm about to say you can walk through today. You different type of level in there. Nah, nah. <laughs> that nah. man owned the club. But now <laughs> it's it's to the point where because I'm going out uh, tonight, you know, celebrate. With, you know, finish off. my So you went weekend. last week and the week before. Tonight, yeah, I went last weekend tonight and, and this weekend. Before. Okay. Wait, what? You going out again this weekend, right? No, just for tonight. Just oh. tonight? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not yeah, Sunday? For... Yeah, Sunday draft. We ain't getting no invite. Yeah, draft. Saturday, yeah. though. Saturday, no. Nah. I'm, I'm probably doing a Saturday. I was like, you're still going to be out. But so <laughs> tonight. That's not the same. I get it. That's but tonight. Insane. I'm working. <laughs> I am working. Whatever you want to call it. Yeah. It is working. Yeah, but see, it is. Yeah. You are posting. IRS it. is work. It is work. It definitely is work. Everything is work. Technically, when if you talk about eating, it's work. I mean, shh. But so, what are you about to ask? Um, no, what you were saying about tonight, like you going out tonight, and <clears throat> I'm going to yeah, I'm going out tonight, and then today, uh, today, <laughs> you and can find me in that. How you getting in there? I'm on it. Just you know, <laughs> I just want to know. Just you know, just, just, just not through the front. This nah, is lately I've been going through the front. Well, the, the last time I met, I went through the front. Because well, there was nobody up there. You just felt like nah. going to the front. So you waiting in line? You want to be nah. with the normal people? <laughs> you got to ask the right questions. <laughs> Who wants to be with line? the normal people? No, I don't wait in line. Bro. There's he, nothing wrong with that. Like, no, the there's front. nothing wrong with that. I'm waiting in line enough. Yeah. Like, when like, I turned but, 18, we was going to the club yeah. every freaking week. But if weekend. you know people. When I was 18, I was definitely <laughs> walking to the front because I was a promoter at that time. So if you know people. So I was just walking in. Yeah, you're not about to. <laughs> a lot of line. places we were at. No, for sure. You know, if you know people, all right, cool. Hey, you know, they cool people. When whatever. I go. When I go out in San Antonio, it's the same way. We go uh, to my homie, the DJ. Mm-hmm. He comes outside, lets yep. us in. I'm same like, man, I, I don't really go out. I'm, I'm like, yeah. you real, really. The only difference is I don't go through the kitchen. But <laughs> oh my god, that you said on wait, so it's that's cool. different. I'll go through the front if I don't gotta wait. Yeah, nah. It's, that's the only uh, reason why I did it for my birthday last year. So because it's your experience. birthday. Yeah, no, I got it. Because it was your birthday. He ain't paid for parking. And you own the place. I don't own it. Stop that. <laughs> okay. I mean, he know to get me out, though. Yeah. Yeah, because he ain't paid for parking. Because I... It was shout out to... And he came the, out himself. Hey. <laughs> hey, 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 I told him I had some. Because you know what I'm like, hey, hey, you told me the parking was free, Ross. Yeah. So I was All like, right. hey, this is the person that's parking <laughs> is free. Excuse you know, me I, out. Say hey, yeah, yeah, thirty dollars. Cause yeah, they be hit. They don't, dog. They don't even. They just change the prices, boy. Yeah, bro, they be like uh, twenty five for you shooting for the stars. I say, bro, I only got twenty. He said that's cool. Yeah. I told them when they, they do that, 
that pisses me off. Like, I was like, all right, somebody did that. I just man. naturally haggled, too. So, <laughs> once he said 30, I said, where was I? I, I seen 40 somewhere. in there. I said, I only got 20. He said, that's cool. I said, bet. Yeah, they going to take we some. We went off for uh, uh, your brother, Nisha, Quentin's <clears throat> bachelor night. Mm-hmm. And I was oh. parking. And the dude mm. across the street. Because uh-huh. I'm like, at the spot, it's going to be more expensive, I'm thinking. Mm-hmm. So, across the street, I pull up. And I was like, hey, man, how much is it? You know, 40. Oh, okay. Let me out. That's the sure. normal. It's the time to go. <laughs> but the then normal. I parked. I was like, well, let me see. If you pay, if you charging 40, let me see how much they charging next to the actual establishment where it's gated. Yeah. 25. Really? Yes. That's weird. I say, Side man, beat. tell him over there he a scam because you... <laughs> Man, I was hot, bro. I'm like, that's, that's crazy. why nobody parking over. But that's yeah. how it be. That's crazy. Because right by the Toyota <laughs> Center is what, like 20, mm-hmm. 25? This is a spot right across the street mm-hmm. from me. I love yep. that spot. I park there every time I'm going to the garage. That's my belief. It's a spot thing. further down, like $35. Right, oh, if, I could, like, if I could valet there, I would. I put, every time I go to the Toyota Center, I pay for that parking in that building right there. Mm-hmm. Um, Reliant, I get as close as possible. Yeah. I'll damn near hug the stadium if I can. Because <laughs> like, even I had a close parking this last time when I went to the game. Mm-hmm. And even then, that car, that walk to the car was just Oof. out of there. So, and then I had the, the boys with me. So, I'm like, whenever I got the kids, myself, I can do it. But whenever I got the kids, no, nah, we. It's a lot more work because now yeah. you got to do. <clears throat> I'm going to park right Make there. Make sure they can keep up. You may have to pick Come up on, guys. real quick. And shout out to yeah. the to the guy at the gate, man. I said this on the vlog with the homie let me in. He, I was walking. I was driving that up. Was and he said, hey, man, you taking the boys to the game? I said, yeah, man. And he said, go ahead, bro. You don't got to pay. I said, man, appreciate Wow, that. that's awesome, man. So I got, he knew that I don't like to. And you pay. hadn't even paid for no parking I think, his, I think his vibe was already. Yeah, gone. you don't know what paying for parking is anymore, man. I, I don't want to. I don't want to get in that bag now because I'm really gonna be like, pay. You want me to parking? Pay? It's only ten dollars, sir. You want me to pay? Everybody got their thing though, man. Yeah, I went out uh Thursday for uh, one of my homegirls. It's like your fourth time. <laughs> oh, I've been going out these two. He said weeks. I've been turning up these right. days. My birthday month. Yeah, I've been going out. I already said that. Homegirl, huh? birthday month yeah, is mine. Nah, her birthday's on the same day as mine. Oh, word. So connection. Oh, I don't remember her from your kickback the party. Party, yeah, she was there uh, at last year for my birthday. I don't remember. Uh, yeah, it was the night. Okay. The... You say too much sometimes. But I don't know. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> but anyway, it was her birthday, <laughs> and she uh, was uh, celebrating at some place down in Midtown. So I have a question, but I didn't want to mention. <laughs> <laughs> so she uh, invited me. I pull up. You know who she? <laughs> nah, I'm saying because he got a lot of homegirls, so I had to see you know do, do she smoke. No. Okay. No. Wait. Which one are you talking about? You know the subscribers always joke at you. About oh, that was hell no. Nah. Hell no. Nah. Fuck that. Anywho, she wasn't even at the kickback. Yeah. Talking about. She wasn't even I never at met that her, part. huh? Yes, you did. Yes. The smoker? No. No, I'm I'm, I'm saying the smoker wasn't there. But <laughs> well, I'm not calling her there. But <laughs> the smoker. A lot of people that was there that night smoked still. <laughs> Don't get twisted. No, like menthols? No, not that. Yeah. <laughs> not those. You didn't have to say that. I didn't do it. Yeah, the whole menthol you person know, in there smoking. Know. Oh, that's 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 crime. I'm talking about the Airbnb with the DJ. They're an actual the criminal. Airbnb with the DJ. Yes, that's the party she came to. No, not that one. She she came to uh um she had pink on last year uh, at the address. Oh, come on. You you remember, but you don't remember. You remember. Oh, the one that was Working yeah. on you. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was gonna Why say that more, but I tried to want to put it on connection. Blast. Why y'all be playing like that? Like, Back to th- connection. That's why I no, couldn't no, be no, no, single. No. Like, don't, don't. I already knew who. It was. She did the same thing talking. at the party that I'm talking about. Stop playing. No, that wasn't like that her. You ain't. Yes, it was. Y'all had the same birthday. That was the first time we met her. Nah, that he wasn't her. Older, he was it? Oh, that you right. Great yeah. uncle now. He not uncle no more. He great uncle. That was years ago. Yeah, he be refuting stuff. He moved a great uncle. Me. He's no uh, longer uncle. Because I thought I there was more he than friends said, oh, without him. That happened? Why not? Bro? I don't really remember that. <laughs> That's like somebody... Which, what do you, you mean? You ordering food and they let you bite it and then take the plate away. No, I don't remember that either. <laughs> My memory is a little short it, right now. That's teasing. If you hungry... But I'm not hungry. And you buy a burger and they let you bite the sandwich and then they say, okay. Just getting danced on. I don't, I don't take that serious. No, I got you. Yeah, that's... okay. <laughs> that's dancing. Like, I don't take that you can shit. get an STD like that. <laughs> this you get that? Crabs. With on? You can get crabs. What? Crabs. Get rolled up on when? When the did that happen? Dub created this just now. 
They can travel from the bottom oh, to the top. Was today yeah. years old when yeah. he made this up in his head. Especially if she got shorts on. For sure, that's bro. easier access. That's, come on now, stop that. Stop. The if you can lay down in, in somebody's bed, uh huh, and that can potentially happen, then you can do it from a roll up. Oh, okay, sir. Okay. So be careful out here who you getting rolled up, sir. Right. Right. Don't let everybody roll sir. you up, right. Stop the nonsense. Yeah, we're, we're <laughs> Don't let everybody roll you up. But anywho, so I get to this place <laughs> and <laughs> I'm, you know, asking for parking or what? Because I'm at, at one point I was about to. I'm like, man, I'm about to go home, bro. Because I couldn't <clears> find no parking and I wasn't about to park far. <clears> and none of that shit. And then and there was a lot that I was waiting in line for. So I'm like, it's all dark and shit. But it's right next to the place. Let me see how much it is. Them niggas said sixty. I must have said, where's the exit? And right. there's like, oh, it's back there. Sixty for parking is. In a crazy, just a dirt lot. So they detail the car too. In a dirt lot, it was a dirt lot, bro. So they don't detail the car. No, they put gas in it. So they got like an actual like SWAT team member there guarding it with the AK. It's just just (laughs) just a whole bunch of buddy buddies out there trying to buddy 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 (laughs) trying to get sixty dollars off you. So I said buddy buddy, it's only sixty. Yeah, and they be having them all too. Bro. So I was like, I you swear. know what? They got I'm, them parking lots on lock, and then half of them don't actually work there. Drive around, I'm like, bro, <laughs> this don't seem like a good spot. This don't seem well lit, and so you know, I pull up right to the front, see how much they charge for valet. They was like, uh, self park is forty. If you want to park VIP right in front, is eighty. I'm like, so have y'all ever experienced the? Uh, have y'all ever experienced the fake parking lot guys yet? Oh yeah, I told the story. I got you. I got a whole whole boy who. Parked his car a lot. That was not the guy who was asking mm-hmm. for the money. Was not working. He just had oh. a little vest on. He took a whole bunch of people money. That boy disappeared. Oh, <laughs> gotta, uh, and all their cars was towed. Oh, two words: five dollar. That's the only thing. I, <laughs> all their cars was that's, towed. That's what I remember the last. I said I, I'm super uh, cautious with that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because of that. I'll be, I'm looking, like, nah, I'll be looking for signs and signals. This is a lot of little shady. I yeah. think we're gonna park over there. Yeah, bro. I'll be looking for signals and signs to let me know that that person's an actual attendee. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that area because we That's had that five dollar situation. But what's the event? What what time it start? <laughs> what start me, me and Kid pulled up questions. to the spot. We was going to the warehouse live, man. And um, oh, warehouse live, food, especially that area. This fool, five dollar. That's the only thing I remember. The last thing I heard him say. Came back out the club. He wasn't there. The car next to us, windows busted. Ooh. Oh yeah. Oh, and where I was live, they they busting windows because it'd be there. right there in that little parking lot where mm-hmm. it's like that little brick the, wall. The, so the, it's like it's kind of with the uh, curb. Off. Yep, oh, yep. Yeah, yeah. That's where they always get hit. And it was right next to us too. We was all walking to the car, and the dudes so happy. They like, bro, who? How oh, much? You know, I'm like, let's get out of here, bro. For they just start airing out of everybody. Yep. Damn. Time bro. to go. Nah. nah. That's so. why I'd VIP like certain. That's why I'd be saying that like when going out like. I already don't like the the crowd energy because mm-hmm. niggas just can't have fun. Because people are just stupid. Yeah, and you never know what somebody else, what type of time they on. So let me park where I see some lights. Yeah. Yep. Nah, and, I, I try to park in well lit areas. So pay a little more for that. And I, his shirt says it all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> stupid. So yeah, nah. You can I, read. I was definitely like, <laughs> you stupid. I was definitely like, nah, I'm not about to do that. So I found one. It was the last spot before I was about to go home. I was about to text her, hey man, I can't find no parking. Happy birthday to you as well. Hope you have a blessed night. Be safe. Uh, and y'all know that Specs Midtown is a Specs uh, Midtown or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, they, you know, during the nighttime they open it up for parking. And I parked there before, and it's well lit. And there's a park attendant there. I was like, you know, how much? Twenty. I was like, oh, it's right across the street. Oh. Shit, went in there, paid my twenty, and then I was I was good. I stayed there for a little bit, and you know, it's it's one of them outside inside places mm. or whatever. So, so you, you can kind of see. see. Yeah, it was it, bro. It was you know, in Houston. What is that still, rooftop? Uh, no, nah, it's not rooftop. I forgot the name of it, but uh, it was my first time going. But you know, it's it's still hot at night. It was like ninety something degrees. It's Houston still at night. So. I want to do rooftop. I want I want to do rooftop. Uh, they have like a. Rooftop like movie date night thing. Yeah, I heard about that. Too. I want to do that. I, I heard yeah, I it's so live. Uh-huh. I'm with that. <clears throat> you know, That'd that be sound. super lit. Let me know. That Double sound. day. You that's can do that. That'd be nice. Dope, so. or, have- or 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 we can go drive into one of them high garages ourselves. Drive all the way to the top of the roof and watch it. Bring the laptop. <laughs> 
can't do that. Bring me out. You need a projector? Don't bring me a laptop. You can even bring a projector if you want to make it fancy. We can put it in the garage. Put it in the middle. I'm with it. Don't hook the that. audio up to where we can. This man is real life Terry Crews from Everybody he Hates is. Chris. Mm-hmm. He's so and that's tight. Cool. Oh my is that God. not romantic? That is romantic. Uh, oh, until the cops pull up. It's like no, he has to find the thin line. The he's like either either he's going to be hey, bougie man, as hell or he's going to be Terry Crews. There is no in between for Doug. Most of the time it's Terry Crews. All right, now. Yeah, we got to go to the idea. Just open up the laptop. That's romantic, bro. Y'all got to start being romantic. you know somebody. It is. It's romantic. Yeah, bro. You know all these people. Why don't you go to a garage? If you're gonna do that, you do it at home. Just go in the backyard. Even better. <laughs> he I said go in the back. He wanted her to bring that. She one up to me. She one up to me. All right. I, I get to go projector. to the kitchen in my career. Like what? Because you actually can do that in the back. If you got the little pagola situation set up, you can mm-hmm. get the TV, get you some popcorn, uh, have a movie night. Yep. Get the little uh, mosquito. There's uh, grass. Mosquitoes, candles. Mosquitoes, mosquitoes, grass. You can get them candles and all that for that. Mosquitoes, grass. Just put a blanket. They down. don't mix. Put a blanket down. Oh, Still the atmosphere. She said, I See, that's not. why I, I can't. She said, keep me inside. Look, 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 look. <laughs> so that's why I can't marry you because you don't want to. <laughs> we can just go to the outside. And it goes movie, back to that. The, the drive in movie. Drive in movie. Yeah. That, that one's live. It's live as hell. Yeah, I want to do that. You got to change the radio station, right? <laughs> yeah. You yeah. just change the radio, radio oh, okay. station. Nah, that sound dope. So and you, we, we all sat in the back Like a matter of fact We ended up all Kind of sitting in the same Little area We brought the, Bring the little lawn chairs mm-hmm. Sit by everybody's car And then we just Turn up the car Oh, oh that's tough. That is super lit mm-hmm. No, that's on fire man That's on fire So sure. a cyber truck <coughs> Park in front of you <laughs> <laughs> A refrigerator That's like exactly what that looks like I cannot see <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying the more and more now So mm-hmm. I know they You know That's another one of them things mm-hmm. Where The refrigerator's coming out <coughs> Quickly Yep The mm-hmm. fridges are on The prowl They customizing them now I'm starting <laughs> yeah. to see more Like different colors Boys well, got colors. the touch screens yeah, they got the big ass touch screens. They they pretty fast too. So they are. They pretty yeah. fast. As fuck. They quiet and they go. You have yeah. you ever had one charge you yet or? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. They just be on they little fridge way. <laughs> Every fridge time I way. see them, they just on be the fridge way. On the fridge I'm way. Sorry, those cars are just not cute. <laughs> I mean, hey, you know, people. It's, oh. Hey, that's your cup of tea. If that's what you like, hey. yeah, I ain't, I ain't. Somebody don't like my car. <laughs> as long as they get me where it's I gotta go. A lot of them around, so they didn't like them then. Some people don't like Ross car. Yeah, they are. So a lot of people, a lot of those too. Yeah, especially yeah. with scratches and stuff. I'm dead. There's a lot of them. Damn, be having scratches. Did you get the scratches out? Nah, we get it done. So I know you I need somebody. That person pay for that shit. I got somebody. <laughs> you know, I found somebody. Uh, What's the price? Homies. I need to get some. Like five hundred. Damn! I can need it. If you don't want that girl, all right. <laughs> you know I'm getting out of here. You can go that. to Home Depot. Nah, if he doing five hundred, is he good? <laughs> Yeah, no, nah, he does okay. good work. Yeah. Okay, okay. Because he about works to say, at a, make sure you put it in the dealership too. That don't mean nothing. I know, sorry ass. Damn, bro. <laughs> I'm dead serious. But <laughs> dealership be BSing, bro. I'm not nah, gonna I'm, hold you. I was like, I'm being dead serious, but no, it's alright. Be good though. Understandable. Huh? Get it, get it taken care of. I, I, I got, uh, I for real, I, I really got some people who I can call if you really need it. Mm, okay. All right. Well, no, I'm sure. Yeah. Let me know if they know prices is uh. You know people to know people. If they we just go, we good. just go steal the door part and then replace it. <laughs> Absolutely, <laughs> it's on both doors. So, oh, oh damn, yeah. that's what I said. You got hit both sides. No, just on both doors on one side, from the fuel tank all the way to like being a. Oh, oh, okay. Like, you talking about? Okay, I thought you hit both sides. Like, if you don't make sides. her ass pay for that. <laughs> <laughs> so you haven't talked to this person in a while, or they still not since that, huh? <laughs> no, nah, I'm good. Not if she making them come out of money to fix them. Shit. Women are trifling. Did she do straight line or did she do, like write a name? Nah, it was just a straight line. Okay. She should at least did cursive. Like, <laughs> no. <laughs> How about none of it? Or, All of it's disrespectful. Because yeah, if it come out of fire, you gonna probably leave. No, it. I'm not. I don't I'm see nobody else Mercedes with a key oh, signature. I don't even like getting curb rash on my real. Um, like the rims, I get that shit oh, fixed yeah. immediately. I don't do that. So. Gotta stop. You gotta stop veering. <laughs> nah, get the curb, bro. Hit the nah, curb. You just. You I just wouldn't veer. It's just, yeah, it's nothing to do with veering. <laughs> You're a veer. No, I'm not. <laughs> You're a my veer. My alignment wasn't, in my Honda, my alignment wasn't right. Bro, you was veering. Bro, we went to the movies that time. I said, Ross. <laughs> my alignment <laughs> wasn't, my alignment wasn't I told wasn't that nigga right. to put his phone down. <laughs> Bro, put your phone down, dog. <laughs> you got to chill, Let's my boy. Here. I'm in the car with you. <laughs> you veering over it. I don't play with people driving. And I mean, I'm. My life is here too. I know, and you got there safely. You did. Ba- See, we got to stop doing that. Just because you, you barely got safe. somewhere, no, I mean, barely. To, just like we went to uh, raising canes that day. He wanted to show out. I he didn't was, show out. 
That's how I know he's getting on the ramp and he. I'm like, hey, nigga, look, we gonna have to. Who gets on the chill. ramp slow? You're supposed to go on the ramp pretty it's fast. It's a difference. Yes, <laughs> come on. It's a difference between your fast. Your fast is not regular people fast. It is. He is a number seven too. They go kind of quick. This Ross knew what he was they doing. Got some no, I was. I shouldn't feel like I'm about to take off and fly to Oregon. You're not. <laughs> You're not. Like, I should feel he like I'm getting on the freeway. Like, hey, I felt like I didn't know what I was on. He, I was like, he said I shouldn't exactly feel right. like I fucking You're exactggerating. Exactly. You're exaggerating. Exactly. Like, right. I felt like we was about to leave no, the ground. No, you wasn't. It really, yeah. <laughs> no, you wasn't, bro. And then we would have been as, oh. We didn't even both hit YouTubers. 60. Didn't even hit 60. One nigga that boy's in a Fast and the Furious movie. No, bro. It was You need to be in the last one. <laughs> what they got Dukes of Hazard? Will you be flying off the ground? Nah, <laughs> flying off the ground. Like, just, just get there, bro. Just food. Just getting food. Don't. Said, I'm, I'm just hungry. Don't That's wanna, it. I'm not that to, serious. I'm not going too crazy, bro. Yeah, anyway. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> every time he said that to me, he did. I'm not. I be chilling. You? I, I do word. be chilling. You be chilling? Uh, yeah. Stop the cap. A honey it ain't that fast. It's not that fast. I like how the first number you said was 100. Right. That means it Because goes, most people that mean be we cruising going over from naturally. 80 to 100. I cruise to 80. That's cap. I've been in the car with you. 85. <laughs> that depends on if I'm on 45. But you're still in that group. It depends on, on where I'm going. It got, freeway got to be free. Of course. I'm not doing 100 in traffic. Well, you just told me somebody was racing against you weaving through traffic. Yeah. I let them do that. <laughs> I already knew what I was. You had already of. passed the traffic. Dude. I was already passed it. So you don't know how to do that. <laughs> That'd be like an interrogator. I know how to do it. I just don't do it. So how do you know you know how to do it? Because <laughs> I've done it before. I was like, got him. Right. You didn't you get me. Got him. And I, I would just we, we got him, boys. His question. No, no. I, no I, it's I the can fact admit. that Ross be so ready. Yeah, I don't time. care. It does be before. like. So, so did you do it? They did. Why did you do it? I did it before. Yes. How far? Because he gonna give you the generic answer. He gonna say like See, I don't go do get it. all the details of it. But I <laughs> normally don't do that on the regular because it's dangerous. So no. He but said, I have hell done. no. Yeah. Sometimes I gotta weave, bob and weave. I called him when I saw him. On oh the floor. yeah, that's and that was just another. <laughs> I saw him moving. <laughs> oh, he was moving. <laughs> <laughs> he was moving. <laughs> Ross, you like goodbye. I should have no, recorded it was, him. That was different. What that you driving? What you driving tomorrow night? That's different. Tomorrow night? Yeah, because well, you're you, going to the, tonight. I'm going out. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 tonight. But I mean, like, for the, the, the meets. Oh, the meet? Oh, yeah, I always drive the, the GT. Yeah. Okay, red, red always goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, black done? The black is just the daily. It's okay, true. black no longer gets that love. Yeah. No, it does. Yeah, yeah. No, it gets the love. Okay, okay. I joined a, a car group with all black cars. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, so, so both get a little So how love. do I get into a, a family car group? Like, <laughs> I mean, the, what do you mean a family she car group? said a like family a, car group? They <laughs> all pretty family friendly. We're judging. No, I'm talking about like a family style. Like for mm. the family size. For minivans? For minivans, Like a the, the Tahoe? You could? It don't matter. It's <laughs> yeah. whatever car you sure. have. It doesn't matter. Oh, I can join? You truly yes. not judging? So I'm like, gonna uh, judge you in this man pulling up in this If I pull up in a minivan, though, I'm saying, like, you think somebody will I mean, if you got a clean minivan. Go home, Dad. People be pulling up in rust buckets in the car. They're they going to watch people, though. They ain't pulling up to oh, no, they, watch their car. Yeah, no, there's one car in Houston. They purposely have an ugly build. So he can burn people? All the meat. Mm. He be smoking people, but, too. No, he, he stands out. Okay. He does stand out because it's, it's awful. <laughs> <laughs> It's, I think I think we should awful. I think we should make a build together. A build, okay. Like just a build Yo. car. Okay. Like now, in the clutch be, car. That'd be tough. What I type like of that. Build? What type of car are you thinking now? I don't know because your type. Y'all go. Y'all yeah, go with the i8. I don't. Mm. No, it's too expensive. Nah, do it. Your type too. Do it, man. We talking about. Bro, <laughs> I'm thinking build, about going to like. Go to a Savage. Yeah. Yeah, go to the Salvage. Because it's funny you said that. I've seen. Right before they smash it. No, no, yeah, wait. Yeah, yeah, Because I've seen <laughs> uh, somebody on Instagram where they basically go to Salvages, they build it up, fix whatever needs to get fixed, and then they flip it. They sell it. Mm. Yeah. That's all they do. Like, they'll do whatever needs to be done. Clutch or whatnot. Flips. And it's like, that shit's actually pretty tough. That name? Very Clutch lucrative. Flips. A lot of work, though. Yeah, a lot of work. You need people that know See what the f- they're doing. Mm hmm. But then that's when you start to kind of get relationships. Oh yeah, yeah. I, um, I know people. I know some people. Yeah, see, so you know yeah. people. Too. He know people. Mm-hmm. I know the family side. Uh, side yeah, of I know some people that you know. What I'm saying <laughs> it, that actually be dope. But that's where a lot of people they get like those you know nice cars that just they get totaled out or the insurance deemed them total out or whatever. Mm. With a little bit of work and some time and dedication, you can flip that. 
You that's know what, what the auctions are for. That's mm-hmm. what they do a lot. Yeah. yeah. You go to like the auction on the north side, and mm-hmm. a lot of those auctions over there, you even uh, the one over by the airport, uh, mm-hmm. by Abby. Like, and you can do that with houses too, man. You can uh, yep. go to some of these, catch mm-hmm. these foreclosures. Or oh. whatnot, so. I had a whole customer <clears throat> telling me that on the phone. Um, he literally was like, man, you, you, got the, you got the personality for it, man. You can definitely flip these houses. He was trying to like, pr- so, like persuade yeah, me to yeah. flip houses. I was like, that's so random. I've never been just talk to about flipping houses randomly it just depends on what the market looks like i think a lot of people yeah. just waiting until after the election yeah but he was talking about like in chicago he was like nah uh, texas is not that good right now but chicago's booming right now and i was oh, like cool and it's funny to say that because everybody's moving down here so i would imagine down south would be pretty good right now because a lot of people that has the up north wages are coming down here and buying these prices mm-hmm. for the houses that we deem is like small yeah but they pay more for it. yeah so it's kind of like one of them. Stop moving down here, goddamn it! Nah, for real, get back, go back, go, go back. back bro. We don't need any more. Please, Two we cents. are over capacity. But uh, no, nah, this was a good pot. No, nah, definitely, uh, definitely for sure. Kicking on here, very therapeutic as usual. Mm-hmm. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you run up the likes, Woo! subscribe. Um, before I get out of here, mm-hmm. y'all, Steve was going at it with people. Oh yeah, hey, hey, seen, hey. Seen him hey one thing it. about me, I'm gonna stand on business with the uh, whole Chris Brown, Michael Jackson damn. take. Yeah. Oh, Oh. I, and, and it's funny I'll only go to a point So once it gets to like I'm not gonna go for days I'm I'm gonna do probably like That first Cause I enjoy doing it It's fun But <laughs> Shit fun to me But um, After like You start saying dumb shit to me it, I, You won't get a comment back It's yeah. done At that point <clears throat> Once it gets to like the It's not a fun debate no more I don't even care no more Cause it's all opinionated So I really don't yeah. give a shit To begin with That's why But even... Once it I do it because I actually enjoy to hear yeah, yeah, other sure. other sides. So like I'll just be like, "Hey, let me just say this," and then I just want to see what they respond back with because I enjoy that. Like I actually enjoy sometimes having a good healthy debate. Yeah. Once you start getting like ignorant and start name calling and all that, I'd be like, yeah. oh, "Okay, all right, cool, peace." K, I'll hit you with a K. If I hit you with a K, that means I don't give a shit about what you just said. Right. Just know that. So if y'all have a K on any of the replies, <laughs> that's on any social media. That means I don't give a fuck about what you just said. Okay, but K, okay. yeah. <laughs> But um, you know, I actually appreciated the the topic in general because it kind of reminded us of like an older pod when we said people don't actually like listen. <laughs> yeah, because a lot of people were just like oh, Michael Jackson, the king of pop. And I'm yeah. like, that's not what we were talking about. They, they took what this. she said and ran with it. And mm-hmm. just, you know. I was like, that's cute. That's cute. Yeah. Like, I, like I, I respect your opinion because I, I mean, don't disagree. And it was some <laughs> cool, it was some cool disagreements. Like, no. the people that wasn't trying to like be ignorant. Yeah, you know, I actually enjoyed just those. Saying their opinion, but you know, you always know the ones niggas just want to start saying yeah. shit. Just like, I'm like, who give this guy a mic? And you know, y'all do that, y'all do that yeah. to us all the time. Like, yeah. that's why I could. Care I'm less. used to it. So I was, I'm used to it too. So I, at the end of the day, I really didn't care. I'm like, I've been in YouTube for so long. That's why sometimes I'm like, I'm okay with like getting a little, you know, debate to hear what you have to say. So like, I understand your point. I'm like, yeah, okay, see your I respect point of view that. on things because sometimes yeah. other people's perspective. Might enlighten you on something exactly that you the way you wasn't looking at it. So, mm-hmm. but when you just get downright ignorant and trying to argue, oh yeah, just to argue is uh, oh yeah, I'll be like, all right, cool, and I'm only gonna do it for a set amount of time. After that, I'm like, all right, I don't, I no longer hear anything on that, and I'm kind of done with the topic. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, no, nah, that was cool. That was a good, good yeah. topic. I kind of already knew I was gonna be in the minority. That was kind of the purpose. But mm-hmm. <laughs> but uh, Fine, yeah, you're trying to get over there, man. <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> just shoot the three. And keep it up there. Man. It's gonna stay up there. I stand on it. That's all you gotta do. <laughs> See, that actually goes for a couple of things. It, it does. To be shoot your shot and live with it. Mm-hmm. Hey, you know stand on what you said. Stand on what you said. Stand on what you said. Shoot, shoot the three and leave it up there. No, mm-hmm. shoot your shot and live with it. It's too close to the line. Nah, yeah, yeah, stand yeah. on what you said. They like to shoot. <laughs> Are you stand on business? Stand on business. Stand on business. <laughs> That's my next album cover. Standing on business. It's gonna have Dub standing on something like that. Yeah. Some business books. <laughs> it's just his business books. Nigga, what? I'm standing on it because I'm doing what I'm saying. You, you get it. You get it. <laughs> it's an entendre. Nah, but um, love you guys. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. Um, jump, jump. Always pray love, be love, man. We catch mm-hmm. on the next pod, and we out. Woo! This is the ITC Podcast, man.